All right. Let's get going, yeah? Happy Tuesday, everybody. How's everyone doing? How's everybody's week been? How are we doing? Oh, good afternoon, Dr. Flygon. Hello, Bry Guy. How you doing? What's up, Agron Enjoyer? What's up, Kai? Last stream was straight depresso. <laughs> yeah, it was it was rough. It was a rough one. Uh who redeemed the hat? Ah, Cleve, you redeemed the hat. Alright, man. Uh yeah, so for those of you who missed the Sunday stream, um I tried the uh twelve V twelve double battle against Mars and Jupiter um on spear pillar and i wiped um honestly not <laughs> like I, I didn't even get bad rng or anything i mean i just didn't have a very good plan um it was the first time i've ever done that battle or anything like that battle in a rom hack so uh it was it was likely to happen and it did um i think i over relied on barry didn't have a um, good answer into the Electivire if Barry was unable to kill the Electivire, which he was not. And then um, there was just this really terrible combo of Kangaskhan next to uh, Bronzong that just killed everything that I had on me. So, Rumor of HG stands for Hey Guys. No, it does not. But thank you so much for these seven months, G Wilbur. So um, I thought, you know, pretty, pretty upset after the end of stream, if I'm being honest, but... I thought about taking some time off, you know, doing, starting the, the Unova snap lock um, today instead. And I actually had it all set up yesterday to, to start the Unova snap lock today. But when I was going to bed, I was like thinking about Renegade Platinum and I was like, ooh, who's my starter gonna be? What am I gonna like do next? How do I optimize the early game encounters and everything like that? And I found myself being actually excited to play the game again. So I figured that that's the only thing that matters is if I'm excited to play. So I'm actually really looking forward to like doing the early game again. Um, if I end up playing really poorly and I end up like not having fun, then I may take a break and do something else. Um, but for now, I was really excited to start attempt two. So that's what we're going to do. Um, did you practice the battle afterwards? I did not. I do have a save state that uh, like I saved the, uh, the data of that that uh account mainly mainly for like video editing purposes but um if i want i can go back and practice it a little bit is there a new plan i mean it completely depends on the encounters that we get here so one of the first things that we're definitely going to do though is i'm not going to go with torterra as a starter i'm going to go with infernape so that that gives barry um empoleon as his water type and then gives him arcanine as his fire type um that should make things a little bit easier for that fight because Empoleon is much better and can't just be devastated by, like, all of Mars and Jupiter's Pokemon, like a lot of his other Pokemon. So that'll be helpful. Um, and then we'll just kind of, like, go from there. That'll also make it easier to fight Barry because he won't have Azumarill, which is just really difficult to fight. So, um, yeah. Glad to hear you're already getting back on the horse. Yeah, we're going to go slow. Um, I imagine that it'll be faster this time around, but we're just going to keep playing, and if you know, if I find that I'm not having fun or I'm consistently wiping again or whatever, um, then I might take a break, might do a different ROM hack, um, might do the Unova snap lock. I'm not quite sure. And I may honestly just take a couple days here and there to like do things that are kind of independent of a complete run. Like I might just be like, oh, I, you know, I always work on stuff offline outside of streams so that I have more videos to update to the YouTube channel. So I might just like stream part of a playthrough of one of those coming up or something like that, just to give a little more variety. But for now, really excited to get going on this. So that's what we're gonna do. Summer Razzle Dazzle, thank you for the two months. Any idea what the main channel vid will look like? Multiple parts or what? I truly have no idea for the, uh, when it was attempt one, and I thought that there was a potential possibility of doing it in one attempt. Um, I thought it maybe made sense to do a really long single video and just cut out parts that aren't that important. Um, now, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do one video for attempt one. Maybe I'll do another video for attempt two if this is the one that succeeds. We'll kind of have to see how it how it shakes out. But um, I'm actually curious. Mods, mods, if you want to make a poll, there's a mod in chat about like what the options are of like what people want to see in terms of like attempt one like do i make an individual video for attempt one and be like this was my first attempt of renegade platinum 
uh, I wipe, but here's how it goes, you know, and then maybe attempt to another video and kind of like that, or I'm, I'm not totally sure. I'm, I'm a little lost, I'll be honest, but uh, honestly, I've been having a lot of fun with this anyway. So even if, you know, I only do the last attempt as a video or whatever, um, that might work, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. But for now, we're going to go ahead and pick up a cute little chimchar here. Um, the, the, the idea is that I probably don't want to make a video that's longer than an hour and a half. Um, so I think it is a little unfeasible to do attempt one plus any additional attempts that I'm doing here in one video and like do it meaningfully, at least with the way that I, co my comment, my videos where I like explain what I'm doing each time. I imagine that what would happen is I would have to do like either completely ignore attempt one or be like, here's what happens in attempt one. This is what I got to. Now let's move on. Something like that. But I don't know. It would be a shame if no one on YouTube would notice about attempt one. Yeah, well, there's the highlights channel. So there's plenty of stuff there, right? But um, yeah, let me know. And Zen Gang, don't cut this out um, of the video. Comments on YouTube. Let me know what you want to see in terms of attempt one versus attempt two. And like, you know, there may be multiple attempts. So just let me know what you think in terms of videos, like whether it's worth it to put it all in one video, uh, split it up. Um, do a single video that's just attempt one, even though uh, it's very clear that we wipe. I don't know. I don't know. Interested to know what people think. Richette J.E., thank you for the follow. Schlinoon, Shl I don't know. And Lily Bear, thank you for the sub via Prime. Remember, Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free. And Pingu Twitchy, I love that name. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, let's do Chimchar. So we're going to take Chimchar here. Um, there's an argument to be made to just soft reset here until we get um, Iron Fist Chimchar, but I don't know if that's worth it. Because honestly, that would have helped a lot to get the Shell Armor Turtwig, like even whatever, you know? Um, but we'll see. So this fight, um, you can see how this goes. I can't even check what my Pokemon has. Well, fine. <laughs> Here's hoping you get Aggron again. Yeah, there's. I've, I've thought about a couple ways to like improve things a little bit here and there to hopefully make things a little bit easier. Let's just speed this up. Ah, that's okay. Um, that doesn't count because it's just a toss up. I mean, I guess I could just restart. We can restart. I'm not going to change the attempt number, but I do want to actually beat that. <laughs> we don't want to lose our chimchar, you know? What's up, Code on Bite? Are we going to reset for a good nature? I don't think so. Um, because ultimately, like, I'm not really sure. Damn, this Piplup is killing me. Okay, nice. I'm not really sure if, like, what a good nature on this Chimchar is anyways, you know? Um, all right. So now I can do three videos for three attempts. Just a, a short video. Uh, this is hasty. That's not terrible. And it's got blaze. So the question is, um, do we want to reset? Just like soft reset for Iron Fist. What do people think? Just check the IVs. Um, I don't really care about the IVs because there's so many Pokemon in this game, you know? Now yeah, we're going to lose this one. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, I, I don't even think I got bad luck. I just didn't didn't play super well. But you know what happens. Um, 
Freaking crap. Is it even worth resetting here or just like, you know? <laughs> Ironfest is always superior to Blaze, whether it is. Well, it's because I, I don't, I don't know. Um, the gym charges freaking suck. I guess so. <laughs> Jesus, this Chimchar is ass. Um, is this worth it? I don't, I don't know. Just use Ember. Uh, I don't know if that's worth, I don't think that's a play. Maybe it's worth it after Scratch or after an, yeah, that's certainly not the play. Well, it is if you get burned. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um, it's modest and iron fist. Um, whatever. I think that's fine. We'll just do it. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, what are we doing here? We have a naming scheme in mind. Yeah, I'm just going to do the same, the foods. We don't have to name everything the same name. So I'll take different suggestions. Doesn't really matter. Um, I don't think, honestly, I don't think this game is like super challenging enough to make it worth like resetting multiple, multiple times like that, you know? So we're probably not going to do that. How early do you get Charmander in this game? Worth it to reset for Levitate? I'm actually wondering if, because we have Chimchar, and I want actually, I never used Meganium, I want Eruption Typhlosion. Hopefully it has adaptability, but even if it doesn't, I think that's fine. Hero Kutakaro, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Um, and Val Phoenix as well. So I'm, I'm kind of wondering whether it's worth it to get the Charizard. Maybe it is just because fire types are like so rare in this game, you know? I don't know. Um, Charmander can get Levitate and Renegade. Well, Charizard gets Levitate because it's Fire Dragon type. Charmander doesn't. Um, cool. So uh, the first thing that we'll want to do is we'll want to make sure to actually get Chimchar to level 9 before um, fighting Dawn here. Because <laughs> remember, she does fight us. Venu is nice with Thick Fat. That's true. I don't know. I haven't found grass types to be particularly useful. And I, I feel like in general, grass types are pretty bad in platinum because so much stuff has ice type moves. Um, we can decide between Torterra or Piplup. What is Piplup's um, new ability? Vital Spirit. Uh, that's not good. Uh, okay. How do you count the starters you get in the Pokemon Centers? Just the grass type, or do you get to choose one of the three? So, uh, just as a reminder for gifts where they give it to you all at the same time, I can pick one of them to get, but I can't look at the natures or abilities beforehand. So I have to decide which one I want before I see the results of the Pokemon. Um, exclamation mark, last attempt will probably will tell you how I wiped or something like that. So we are gonna take this Eevee. Um, I think we, what do you want to nickname this Eevee? Also, I didn't nickname the Charmander. My bad, I can do that in PK Hex. Um, what do we want to nickname this Eevee? Eclair again? I think it's definitely just going to be an Umbreon again. It's still a food theme. Eclair was fun. Yeah, we're just going to go for Eclair again. Alright, um, so we can look at this bad boy, 
He's careful. It's actually really good for Umbreon. It's really, really good for Umbreon. Um, like, Impish would be better, but careful is phenomenal. All right, cool. Um, is that working? Ugh, not working. Um, Ah, oh, there we go. My bad. Okay. Modest and careful. Cool. Um, one or two parts in the video. Two parts. Okay. Um, great. So, uh, we don't have Pokeballs or anything, right? We did load up on those rare candies already, so that's good. Um... Uh, yeah, I did forget to nickname this Chimchar. Let me go do that real quick. Um, what do we want to nickname the Chimchar? What was the nickname of the Chimchar before? I don't even remember. It was like Tamale or something? Sriracha was Sriracha. We can do Sriracha again. Ye. If it ain't broke, right? But Sriracha kind of blew. Okay, so this Chimchar is modest. Um, it's got really good special attack. It's got terrible speed. Terrible attack. Um, it's got two speed IVs. This Umbreon is really good, though. Like, really, really good. This fucking Chimchar sucks, though. Damn. All right, well, we will name him... Um, we can name him... Here, we can name him Tabasco. That's fine. All right, Tabasco, welcome to the team. Why are you so goddamn bad? Are you going to hold out for Nasty Plot if you get good enough encounters until then? I don't think so. Are we supposed to be seeing things here? No. You don't get to see anything, that's not how Twitch works. I'm just gonna be orally narrating everything to you. Uh, all right, Tabasco, you are really bad, buddy, but that's okay. How do you edit things like this? Magic. Um. Want. Great. Nuzlocke podcast. Audiobook. Uh, yeah, okay. So this time we won't get accidentally screwed by Dawn. Uh, so that'll be nice at the very least. We can ember this. Great. Okay. Um... You can just use our candies. I know, but that was really short, so. Bro. Really uncool. That's okay, though. Die. Man, that's so much easier than accidentally doing that with a level 6 Pokemon into our level 9 Pokemon, huh? Cool. Okay, so we got Pokeballs. Um, so the first thing we can do is we can go to Lake Verity and we can get an encounter. Um... Quick attack. Ooh. Man. Um, actually. No, 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 no. We want quick attack for that battle against Barry. Um. 
I don't think we ever do sand attack. Careful is not good for Umbrian. Yeah, careful is pretty good. Um, all right. Forgot that you can get a shitload of Pokeballs. Also, she gave me 30? Holy hell. Um, okay, we can't get repels. Really? Damn, well then how do you repel on Route 202 to get Growlithe? Okay, well, let's go. How do you lose the previous attempt? Uh, exclamation mark, wipe, or last wipe, or exclamation mark, last attempt, something like that. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can get, we can get a, um... Gives you repels? Oh, look. I did get repels. Lit. Okay, so, um, we can also go in here and we can get one of these bad boys. Um, so, I think, I think I want Turtwig here instead of Jimchar. Um, because Shell Armor Turtwig would be huge, and it generally helps better. Steel types are always great, but... Didn't you just skip an encounter there? You don't get an encounter in 201 because your rival or your uh, your Pokemon is from 201. Let's see. Um. Okay. So, I think we're gonna take Turtwig here. So, what do we nickname Turtwig? What type of food is Turtwig? I think it was tortellini last time, so unless you come up with a better thing than tortellini, which is pretty damn good. Turtle soup. Everybody loves blank soup. Um, Alright, we can do broccoli. How do you spell broccoli? Jesus. Okay, like that. Oh, it's a girl. Interesting. I don't think that matters. How do you spell broccoli? Yeah. All right, broccoli. Welcome to the team. Um, we do get Piplup here, but we don't get him, so I'm not going to nickname him. Piplup gets his ass dumped in the box. And then let's check out... Um... Sprout is also good. Yeah. All right, first, let's see what we, we lost out on here. A relaxed... That's actually pretty good. And Vital Spirit. Interesting. Uh, okay. And Broccoli. Jolly. Eh. Shell Armor, though. We're good. All right, that's Fantina taken care of. Um, Amazing. So far, so far, we're good. But, so no Turtwig. But... I mean, Jolly's actually a fine nature for this. It's just, I mean, it's not going to outspeed anything. Uh, okay, cool. Cool. Our team's looking, looking swell. Shit. Oops, didn't mean to use that. Um, okay, so we can repel Manip for Growlithe or Poochiana on Route 202. If we leave Turtwick at level uh, level six, um, so I think I'm gonna do that. So let's just go do that real quick. We don't need Growlithe. You don't need Growlithe. What else can you get over there? Um, I get Shinx, Zigzagoon, Sentrant, Rattata, Poochiana, Growlithe, or Burmy. I guess I don't need Growlithe unless it's Intimidate. You know what? Let's wait. Arcanine is kind of meh if you already have Infernape. Yeah, but my Infernape is ass. Like, it's a terrible Infernape. It's basically got no attack. It's modest and, like, four attack, no speed. Which we can offset a little bit by using it in the early game to get some EVs, since I'm not playing with the no EVs thing, but... 
Shink's kind of good. I guess Shink's is kind of good. All right, let's see what we got here then. Um, I think we can lead Chimchar. That's probably fine. Lake Verity has Starly, Bidoof, Surskit, Azuril, Psyduck, and Wingull. Um, hmm. Oh, Electivire is dark in this game? Or uh, Luxray? I did not know that. All right, let's try it here. Let's see what we get. Actually, you know what? If we're not gonna, if we're not gonna int him, or if we're not gonna repel for the the Growlithe, might as well do that. Okay, Starly. Uh, interesting. But that means we guarantee Chansey, so that's cool. No, uh, no Surskit though. Quick attack, growl, and tackle. Um, I don't think a scratch crit kills this, right? Actually, no, we should just we should just throw a Pokeball. Let's hope that this is I I think I honestly want this to be Intim instead of the other thing. Starly doesn't have Intimidate, so I don't think we know until it evolves. Actually we know, because it's either Reckless or Keen Eye. All right, Starly. Um, what type of food is this? Are we doing one ball HG? You fucking know it, Ty guys. Of course. Did you not just see? Did you not just see one ball HG in action? Nuggets? We've literally only used one ball this whole playthrough. Beans, flan, mustard, <laughs> chicken wing. I don't think chicken wing fits. Some of you are just naming random food. Bird soup. There it is. Uh, chickpea is kind of funny. Star fruit. All right, we can do star. Nah, that's dumb. Sorry. No, I don't. I don't mean to be mean. That's not dumb. But I'm not doing that. I'm waiting for inspiration to strike. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Staunch. Don't know what the hell that is. Haggis is a. Hummus. All right, hummus it is. I like hummus. Hummus. Is that how you spell hummus? Hummus? All right. Um, intimidate or reckless? Okay, reckless. Um, I think I'd rather have intimidate, but whatever. Eh, rude. Okay. Can you leave me alone, Pokemon? Thank you. No, Reckless is not bad in a Nuzlocke. It'll be fine. Um, But yeah, okay. So now the question is, do I want the Growlithe? Because we don't have an Intimidator. We don't even have Masquerade, and we'll get Gyarados pretty much guaranteed at some point. But I might want Growlithe, although, like people are saying, Luxray is pretty good. Um, Shinx, Zigzagoon, Sentrant, Rattata, Poochiana, Growlithe, or Burmy. Am I going to do trades in the game? I don't think so. Yeah, I should probably get Growlithe for the Intim. Um, can Shinx not have Intim? Shinx can have Intim, but then we're risking not getting Shinx. Alright, you know what? Let's let's just go. Let's just go get it. It's fine. We're not gonna we're not gonna repel manip. Repel manipping is for suckers. Just kidding, we're absolutely gonna be repel manipping, but not right now. Let's just see what it is. What 
the fuck? <laughs> well, it's a steel type, at least. Is this fucking thing buffed at all or anything? I, it can have battle armor. And yeah, it's buffed. Quite a bit, actually. It's also potentially got hidden power, which could just eviscerate some of my Pokemon, so we'll have to be careful here. Um, actually, this is not a terrible Pokemon. Nah, it's pretty bad, but... But... Huh. It's a Steel-type. Alright, well, um, I don't think that a quick attack kills this. Does it? Does Burmy have a high catch rate? No. Or yes. I think, I bet quick attack does kill this. If it crits. Yeah, it does. Okay, so let's just yeet a ball at it. Let's hope it doesn't have hidden power fighting, you know? Huh. Huh. Bite and Quick Attack are the same power unless we have adaptability. I don't know if we do. There, we got Runaway. Okay. Um... Damn. Damn, bro. Um... It's okay, you do you. You do you, Burmy. <laughs> One ball. That's all it takes. Okay. Um, what is Burmy's name? New ass Pokemon. That's cool. Lettuce? I think we're going to evolve it into avocado. I like avocado. Avo. Avocado. Avocado. Avocado Cadavro. Okay. Um, do you have battle armor? Because that would be lit. Damn it. Nothing matters. The ones that take two attempts are always best, so don't be bummed out about this run. Thank you. All right, well, damn. No Intimidate Pokemon yet, but that's okay. Um, Let's go. And I'll level these guys up a little bit. All right. Oh, there you are, and it's got Intimidate. Uh, huh. okay, well. Oops. Great. That one had Intimidate too. But we got Burmy. That one had Intimidate, too. <laughs> um, ooh, you know what? What is your... What the hell? Oh. We forgot to check Burmy. Hasty. It's trash. Um, all right.
double team. Okay, Starly, Starly's carrying so far. <laughs> um... Ah, my friend Burmy. Okay, Claire is carrying so far. Okay, Turtwig is carrying so far. Cool. Don't fight me. Okay, yeah. Ooh, we can get a um we can get an egg here as well. What's my starter? Exclamation mark starter should give you the starter, but it was a uh, chimichar. Okay. Um, great. Scope lens, nice. Okay. Um. Uh, this cowboy lady gives me a Pokemon. Um, before the layout spoils it for us, let's get that. Uh, let's hope for Riolu here. That'd be really cool, right? Um, Woody505, thank you so much for the sub via, via Prime. Remember, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your Prime account to your Twitch account, and then you can subscribe for free. So in addition to just watching really cool movies on Prime Video, you can also watch me for free, and it'd be really cool because I get some money from it. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Check the hidden power type. Okay. She's a fucking liar. Okay, well. Ooh, that is a long evolution. That was a lot of steps. That was a lot of steps. What are we thinking here? What are we thinking? What are we thinking we get? Why not Riolu Larvitar? I don't think you can get Larvitar. All right, here we go. Ah! <laughs> Please have huge power. Please, huge power. Please. All right, well, what is this little asshole's name, huh? Blueberry. You know what? Disappointing Pokemon gets a disappointing name. Although, honestly, water and... A water fairy type's really good. All right, show me huge power. Show me huge power, big boy. Lonely with huge power. It's pretty lit. All right. Well, let's uh, let's cheat in. Let's cheat in some exp. Or I'm sorry, some uh, friendship onto that big boy. Um, Azuril doesn't learn anything worth it, right? It's, it makes sense to instantly evolve this into what's his name? Charm at level eight. Sing at twelve. Bounce. Can Meryl learn charm? Meryl cannot learn charm. Okay. So we level up to level 8, and then we evolve with Meryl. Then we evolve it into Meryl, so that it gets uh, Defense Girl and Rollout.
Splash is cheating. Alright, cool. Um, here, I will, this time I will pop up PK Hex for you. The, those of you folks who can't use your imagination. Um, give me one second. Let me just set up a window capture. Uh, excuse me, where is it? What? I can't find it. No. Oh, here it is. Sorry. Thank you. All right. There. Now you can see what I see. Go, go freaking nuts, folks. Um, okay. So. So first, let's look at this guy. So this guy has really good IVs. We saw that already. This guy has dog shit IVs. Looks like we're doing a special Infernape. Um, this guy, also dog shit IVs, but hey, that's cool. You? Oh, another? Why are all my Pokemon slow? Really? One? One? Uh, let's change that. No, I'm just kidding. That's illegal. Uh, what about this guy? Oh, good thing we have a speedy nature. But that's actually pretty good. Good defensive tank. Actually, no, this is trash. This is also trash. What about you? You look okay. You're solid. You're solid. Uh, what was your hidden power? Ice, but it's 33, so basically not at all. All right. Yeah, all of our speed EVs are ass. Ah, damn. Oh, well. Um, yeah, you can be at 255. You can be at 255. Um, I don't want to... I don't want EV to evolve yet because we want to wait for Wish. So I'm not going to let him evolve yet. But that's okay. Cool. Uh... Great. Whatever. Sarley has served his purpose. He has eliminated the dupes. Or she. I can't remember. He's re eliminated the dupe so that we can get freaking Blissey. So that is your purpose, Starly. Congratulations. freaking Lations. Uh, great. You got a whole team of six. That's useful. Uh, and we can keep going. Give me, give me your full blown Pokétech. Yeah, thank you. What kind of Pokétech do we want, huh? Let's watch my Pokemon dance around. Okay. Um. Okay. So one thing we can do is we can go here again and get the old rod. Um. Okay, so we could get a, an encounter from Route 218. I just want to make sure, see if that's worth it. So last time we got Finneon. I can get Finneon, Staryu, or Magikarp. Oh, Staryu would be so nice. Twin Leaf Town is where I got the uh, EV from. Um. Where else can you get Staryu? Is it only from there? You can also get it from Canalave. Interesting. Oh, so if I get Finneon and Magikarp dupe, I'm guaranteed Staryu? Holy shit, I did not know that. Okay, well then, I think we do surf here to guarantee either the Magikarp or the Finneon, so that... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You can get Horsey and Krabby south of Sand Gem. I want to leave that open for now. Uh, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Um, so so what I'm thinking there is that it's really nice to have that for Wingold, Tentacool later. But honestly, Horsey, Krabby, Clam Pearl, that's not terrible. Krabby can have battle armor. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it for now. But we are gonna get this. And we are gonna get another Pokemon from surfing here, or from fishing here. It's gonna be either Finneon or Magikarp. Or Staryu. Staryu would be sick if we just randomly got Staryu here. But I don't feel like that's gonna happen. <gasps> This fucking thing knows Psy Wave, so we gotta be careful. But you know what? Doesn't even matter. Because one ball HG. Woo! Why are we freaking out about Staryu? Because Starmie's a fucking disgusting Pokemon, that's why. And we got it really early, too. Question is, how long do we have to delay this? Probably not very long. We obviously want recover. Starburst? Yeah, sure, that makes sense. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the team, Starby. Okay. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Let's just, um, let's hope the, the water type curse doesn't follow me in this attempt. All right, show me nature cure and not like illuminate. Okay. It is, of course, relaxed nature, which is honestly fine. Um, at least it's not illuminate. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, um, what does what does Barry have? We picked Chimchar, so Barry has Piplup. So he has Piplup and uh wait wait wait. Also What else do we want here? On route two oh four. Wait, which route is the one up there? Hold on. Um Oh also we can evolve this Azumarill. Also, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, who's not useful against Piplup? Chimchar, honestly, but let's uh, actually. You're not very useful for now. Okay, let's. Um, sorry, I forgot to turn this back on. Do, 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 do. Okay, now we're looking schmexy. Alright, what about up here? Oh, also... We must give life to Blueberry. Learn Charm? Yeah. Uh, oh boy, which one do we get rid of? Well, Water Sport is actually more useful than Water Gun compared to Bubble, yeah? Hey, Meryl. Welcome to the team, Palo. Defense curl? Um, I don't think that's worth it. Well, it's better than water sport. I don't... Oh, we're all not that good. Actually, maybe it's good against the Starly, yeah? Did I get rid of Tail Whip? Probably. Actually, defense curl is not useful. Okay. Um, great. So, what can I get from Route 204? From Route 204, um, I can turn Ralts into a 50-50. Oh, well, no, I can't because I just overleveled everything. <laughs> so, um, what can we get here? I, we got Budu last time, which is pretty nice. So, from 204... From 204, we can get Budu, Bellsprout, Ralts, Caterpie, Weedle, Wormpole, or Ladybaugh. 
From a uh, old rod, I can get magic carp, goldine, or core fish. Um, potentially sun kern during the day. I guess it is during the day, so it's sun kern. Um, is the is bell sprout any good? So I could do either bell sprout or I can make it a 50 50 for bell sprout with chlorophyll or gluttony. <laughs> Ralts would be really cool, yeah. Okay, I actually do want to do that. Uh, but then. Ralts can use teleport, though. What is, um... Alright, let's... Alright, Barry. Starly, Munchlax, and Turtwig, all at level 11. Yikes. I mean, sorry. Starly, Munchlax, and Piplup. What did the Munchlax know that was, like, freaking horrifying? doesn't get teleport that early you want to bet because i've got a got a thing here oh no 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 wait sorry teleport is last so it actually won't get teleport one two three four okay nice 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 okay so then let's wait let's wait if it's level seven it won't know it yeah you're right you're right you're right um okay let's let's wait for that then I think having either a Gardevoir or a uh, Galad would be pretty sick. Okay, so this... Um... So let's do Barry. He's got Starly, Munchlax, and Piplup. You guys want to do a bet? Mods, if you want to make a bet really quick, you can make a bet for Deathless first rival fight. Did I was not Deathless last time. Um, no, 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 no. Curse? Oh. Recover? Um... And we got Water Pulse, which is sick. Uh, all right, so it's Starly, Munchlax, and Piplup. What is the, what does the Munchlax know again? I can't remember. It's got Metronome and Rock Tombi. That's what it is, yeah. Rock Tombi's a bit scary. Um, but... Turtwig. Pretty busted. Um, and Starly knows what? Wing Attack and Growl and Quick Attack. And Piplup knows what? Water Pulse. It knows, it knows Peck. What an asshole. Uh, Turtwig, Rival Berry, Turtwig. Okay. All right, well, Turtwig's going to do some heavy lifting here. Yeah, Metronome is scary, so we want to kill this as quickly as possible. Catching this after school, how is it so far? Pretty fun? Pretty fun. The beginning's always really fun. Um, is there any reason to bring Burmy instead? Burmy, are you better than anybody else? 15 and 16. Defense and... Nah, I think... I, th I think... I think these guys are all better. Yeah. Um... Alright, I say... Did 
you already fight for more starter Pokemon? I did not. Thank you. I forgot about that. Uh, let's do that. This person? Um, so this is the Kanto starters, right? They're all level, like, 10. Be fine. What does it lead with? Bulbasaur? Level 5. Did the egg not count as your location here? No. So, Dreano does this really cool thing uh, where it is its own location. So, this is Trainer School location. So, this is Jubilife City here. Uh, Pikachu is an electric type. Kanto region Saffron has an active fighting? No, I guess not. Uh, well known Samuel Oak. Yes? Okay, and do you think you can beat me in a Pokemon battle? Hell yeah. Oh, especially if they're level 5. <laughs> Turn on my Charmander. Okay, um, so question is, which one do we want? Uh, Drizzle Squirtle would be really cool. Um, Levitate Charmander would be great, but we already have... The, uh, we already have the Chimchar, and we're definitely going Typhlosion, because I... Well, I mean, I guess we could go Intimidate with Totodile. But I think... I think it makes sense to go Squirtle here. And that gives me some more wiggle room if we get the Squirtle. Charizard is really nice. But I'm definitely going with Typhlosion. But I have a question. Is your overlay common? I saw another YouTuber use the same overlay, kind of like your videos. I don't know. I made it myself, but I based it off of other people's and stuff, so I don't know. Um... Do you already have a Fairy-type counter? I mean, we'll, we'll get Typhlosion. I think I want to go Squirtle. I'm feeling it. We're going to do Squirtle here. Um, all right, what's the name of the Squirtle? Blue cheese. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is a lot of uh, water types. But that's okay. Water types are good. All right. First up, let's see what we missed with this Bulbasaur. Chlorophyll Bulbasaur. Could have been cool. Solar Power Charmander, so that was, uh, that's Levitate. Ah, it's not Drizzle. Damn it. And it's lonely, which is terrible nature. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Well, not much we can do about that. Uh, there you go. You take the Miracle Seed, though. That's okay. We, we already have a lot of really cool encounters, um, and it's not always going to go my way, so that's fine. Um, Squirtle may not end up being used at all, but that's okay. Welcome to the team, Squirtle. I would rather have not Drizzle Squirtle than have not Adaptability Typhlosion. Um, okay, let's bring these guys back on the team, and let's go have some fun. Um, is Squirtle better than any of these other guys? Also, actually, this way we can get the, um, we can get the Ralts early. Not that that really matters. Um... 
Is Squirtle better than Eclair for this fight? How do you pick which of the three starters for your route encounter? You just I just pick one. Um okay. Hmm. I think this is I think this is fine for We don't have any rock resists, right? Kind of scary. All right, let's do it. Um, Turtwig. We don't have any berries, right? Okay, so Turtwig, you're getting Miracle Seed. Uh, Charcoal's going to this bad boy king over here. Uh, water gun is going to this guy. Scope lens is going to this guy. All right. Just ate some ghost pepper chips and they do be spicy. Okay. Um, all right. So let's just kill the Starly as quickly as possible. That's why we have this guy out here. Um, and then we'll go from there. Did I do the Ravage Path encounter? No, I haven't, but I wanna I wanna save that. We'll do that after we fight this guy. Um Scope lens on Turt. Oh, for the high crits with Razor Leaf. But Miracle Seed is fine, and nobody else benefits from Scope Lens. So put him on him. I can minus attack. Okay, whatever. Let's do it. Um I'm just going to keep regular music for this, or like background music. We're just going to try and go through this, yeah? Um... Okay. Alright, Barry. Don't end it. Nice. Um... That's 10. All right, this should never kill. Tackle should never kill. Um, So we're gonna charm here. Just got, it's, it's going for metronome. Ugh. Nice. Okay. That's how we do it. Shell armor. Amazing. All right. We got an EXP share. Cool. Okay. Um, let's take a look at route. What is this? 205? 203. This is route 203. Um, Mod, you can, you can sprinkle in predictions wherever you want or whatever. So route 203... We can get Starly, Bidoof, Spiro, C Dot, Lotad, Cubone, Abra. Um, we can make this 33, or we can make this 50% Abra, 50% Spiro, if we want, with Repel Manips. But of course, that means that we're risking the teleport with Abra. Um, we might be able to outspeed Abra if we have. Uh, if we use Taunt with Tabasco. Um, but then we can't repel Manip. Unless... What do we have in the back? We got Squirtle. Squirtle can't use Taunt. 
Um, and I don't think there's a way to... Yeah, that wouldn't work. Just one ball HG them. Yeah, we could. Alright, well, let's get, um... Wait, what's... What can I... Can I surf for something here? I don't think that's worth it. It's guaranteed Magikarp or Corefish, but I don't care about that. Um... All right, let's just see what we get. We're gonna start though. Um, oh, we're almost we're almost at the gym, right? I just I wonder how much um, speed I need to outspeed like a really fast Abra. Like if Abra is at level what is it eight? Um, got twenty one speed. Potentially, potentially twenty three speed. So can we? Uh, Ah, fuck. <laughs> um, we can we can give this a little more speed. Twenty one. So we actually need one more, uh, and then it's gonna evolve. But I'm okay with that. And I don't need nasty plot on it. I don't want to do that. I don't want to delay for nasty plot. Actually, how much do you have to delay for nasty plot? I don't think it's worth it though. Uh, till 23, so it might be worth it. I don't think so. I don't think a nasty plot is worth it. Yeah, no. Um. Okay. Um. All right, let's see what we get. Ah! It's a dupe. Let's see what we get. Okay, okay. Okay, it's another water type. Uh, hmm. What? What? <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude, bro. One ball HG. <laughs> All right, what is uh, what is the name of this guy? Mobut, thank you for the three months. Gotta be pineapple. All right, fine. Unoriginal, but fine. Pineapple. Um, great. So let's take a look at this guy. Gentle, that's fine. Uh, rain dish. I'd rather have chlorophyll, but whatever. Um, Astonish, Growl, Absorb, Bubble. Okay. Um, cool. It's a very interesting looking color on this Lotad here. People are going to ask if that's shiny. Um, so now, do we want to... Yeah, let's go for the Ralts. 
Let's go for the routes at level 7. So let's use pineapple to get the routes at level 7. Were you able to get a Drizzlemon? Not yet. When are you able to get a Drizzlemon? Uh, it depends. We'll see. Uh, we can get lucky and get Pelipper on a couple different routes before Gym 5, but um, more likely it's after Gym 5. Uh, okay. All right, show me routes, please. Um, okay. Bellsprout has acid, so we can't stay in here. It's also got Vine Whip. Um, Ooh. Uh, I don't like that. Mock Punch shouldn't kill this, right? Uh, it might. I guess we can taunt, but let's just throw a Pokeball. Man, would have been cool to get Ralts. Oh, fuck. Okay, uh, what do we name Bell Sprout? What type of food is Bell Sprout other than Sprouts? Taco Bell, fine. <laughs> and we're actually just gonna name him Taco. Okay, um, looking good, everybody, looking good. The Bell Sprout would have been nice. I'm sorry, the, uh, Ralts would have been nice, but what do we got? Uh, Sassy, minus speed, but it's got chlorophyll. I think that's better than gluttony. Vine whip, growth, acid, wrap. So there's a little bit of, um... Okay, so growth is not updated in this. It's just special attack. That sucks. Is that true, or is that just not updated? It's just special attack. Okay. Uh, dang. It's not a great Pokemon either. But that's okay. Um... I can just do Trick Room. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Um, let's go. So, now we can look at Ravage, uh, we can look at Ravage Path if we want. Um... Where is Ravage Path on this list? Oh, sorry, this is Trainers. Uh, wild Pokemon. So Ravage Path has Zubat, Geodude, Wooper, Psyduck, Sandshrew, or Makuhita. I think we want to get that uh, Zubat dupe out of there. And Zubat is super nice anyways. Ravage Path at 50-50, but there, you need a lot of repels. And you need it to be level 8. I like that, though.
Okay, can you can I buy uh, repels from the Pokemart here? I don't think so, right? Yeah, that would be nice because then at Orberg Gate, we can get rid of that and do either Riolu, Riolu or Diglett or Geodude. Um. Okay, okay. Um, you're limited on repels until after you beat Rourke. So is it worth trying to do a few repels here and then if we can't get it, saving a couple? I think so. Uh, is this person hard? I can't imagine they're hard. Well... <laughs> Uh oh. Nice. Um. Holy shit. Was that a crit? Okay, that's fine though. If it was a crit, but I was like, Jesus, that's a lot of damage from a quick attack if it was not a crit. Um, okay, so we can repel here. Wait, shit. I just wasted one. Ah! My bad. I need the level 8 Pokemon. Nice, 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 nice. All right, Zubat. Um, you have big, big shoes to fill. Big freaking shoes to fill, Zubat. You know why? Because Zubat from Attempt 1 was a beautiful, beautiful creature. And it had max attack. So... You better live up to your name, Zubat. It's a bad start, Zubat. Ah! Run! Uh, it's got Absorb, Astonish, and Bite, so this asshole should be able to handle a few things, yeah? Um... There we go. Okay, so Zubat... We'll name him Cake Batter. I like that one. Reincarnated. Welcome to the team, Cake Batter. Okay, this is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Sue Pat is actually adorable. <laughs> Oops. Did you get the TMs? Nope. Whoopsies. We can go get it. Uh, calm. You know, fucking whatever. Just, just fucking whatever, man. You know? Uh, okay. It's not plus speed, it's plus special defense, which is fine. Uh, the minus attack sucks, but that's okay. 
We'll get a soup Pokemon one day. <laughs> I like that you think that. Okay, let's uh, let's go back to Tabasco here. Let's go get the item I missed, apparently. Yeah, Crobat is really good. The, again, natures don't matter that much. They obviously matter more in this game than in most games, but like, it's it's not that big of a deal. Expert Belt? Rock Tomb. Yeah, okay, those, those are pretty good TMs to have. Okay. Why does it matter in this game more? Because it's hard? Yeah, exactly. And all the Pokemon have 31 IVs in this game. That's not true in um, regular games. Okay. Um, so now we've got Orber Gate. So what can be done in Orberg Gate? We can, at level 8, we can get a first floor Riolu up to 20% if we go level 8. Um, the alternative is getting Geodude or Diglett. We have Zubat. If you delay Orberg Gate to get an encounter at Orberg Mine, you can increase your chances for Riolu. Okay. Okay, okay, I see you. I see you. We can do that. Because we potentially get Geodude. I would freaking love Aaron, though. And honestly... Okay, so, so the idea is I can go to Orberg Gate and I could potentially get Geodude. And if I get Geodude, then that makes... Riolu much, much more likely, right? Or if I get Geodude in Orberg Gate, then I really, it's very likely for me to get Aeron or Trap Hinch or Wismer. Are your Pokemon also all 31 IVs? Nope. Is the Sturdy Buff in this game? Nope. All right, we can, we can delay Orberg Gate. Why not? Sure. Let's do it. Uh, we can also get Beldum. What's this? Uh, hmm. Hmm. You know, knockoff, chief? Take out, arm thrust, and attack, focus energy. No. Don't do it. Thank you. Uh... God, I love Sturdy. I'm sorry, uh, the other thing that I said. Chat, uh, EVs are in this run, yes. Um, but I'm not going to intentionally EV train. Cubone, that's cute. Uh, huh. I don't remember there being a bunch of trainers here, but whatever. It's got a Spiro, a Cubone, and a Zuril. Since when? Starburst popping off. Um, Psyduck at level 10. And a Sunkern. Uh, 
Okay. Um... Oh, I have to fight these people? Dang it. Cdot and Diglett. Um, okay, so we have to kill that with something that can deal with the Diglett because the Diglett has arena trap. So I guess broccoli, right? Um, what does Cdot know at level 10? Nothing. Okay. Um, ooh. That's not good, is it? Whatever. It's better than Stanish. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure that we would just kill the Diglett with Tabasco, but we can do this with... Barber Broccoli over here. Uh, we can curse once. Curse twice. Ooh. Um, I think that's better than Absorb, right? What's up, Ian? Cal, thank you for the two months. Which Pokemon game do you recommend I should try for my first Nuzlocke? I have. I don't have Pokemon Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun. I don't have Sword and Shield. So which game do you recommend? Uh, Platinum, Emerald, or Fire Red? Fire Red if you want something really easy. Um, Platinum and Emerald if you want like a little more variety. But um, still pretty straightforward game to Nuzlocke for your first time. Um, I think it's actually, there's no reason to not have tackle here, yeah? Or we don't need tackle. Okay, uh, what does this guy have? Wismer and Wooper? Psh! Psh! Dead. Cool. All right. Yeah, show me, show me what you got. Oval stone. Oh, thanks for a chancy. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. I don't think there's anything to do here other than go to the game. Yeah, go do it. Tunnel mail. Get some more Pokeballs. Let's get a couple potions. Great. Okay. What am I hoping for from Scarlet and Violet? Uh, Pokemon that I really like and hopefully some fun stuff. I don't know. Um, let's go to... Let's go do Route 207 first, I guess. Right? You can get Machop, Rhyhorn, Ponyta, Fampy, or Larvitar. Larvitar would be really cool. Um, we could save it for a honey tree, but I think I like the idea of potentially getting Machop. Um, oh, also, let's go get Baltoy or uh, Beldum. We can just name him Jawbreaker again. Welcome to the team, Jawbreaker. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we're not going we're not going for the the Hoenn starters, unfortunately. Um, we're just gonna get Beldum because Beldum's a Steel Psychic type that's really good. It's a good good uh good nature. Clear body, so not Iron Fist, but clear body. That's interesting. Um, although maybe yeah, no, that's that's interesting. Um, I don't I think Iron Fist is better, but whatever. Hi, DJ. How you doing? Um. Okay. Uh, let's go to here. It's my 12 month subversary, but it won't let me share it. Huh. It's weird. I'm sorry. Um. Do, 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 do. So, Machop, Rhyhorn, Ponyta, Fampy, or Larvitar. Um, let's hope we get Larvitar, or Fampy, or Rhyhorn. All of those would be pretty cool. I guess we'll see, yeah? Uh, we'll probably get Machop, though. That's the 30% encounter. All right, let's do it. What does Clear Body do? It prevents uh, stat drops. What do we get in here? Ah, whatever. What do we want to name Machop? Ribs? Sure. <laughs> Protein is fine, too. We had flesh last time, but we'll do protein. Pure protein, baby. Pop rock. <laughs> uh, okay. Man, there's so many cool Pokemon here. That sucks. Yeah, there's Fampy. Like, Fampy would have been cool. Rhyhorn would have been cool. Not that Machop isn't so kind of useful sometimes, but damn, that's disappointing. Um, it's Guts again, too. Whatever, who fucking cares? Okay, um, let's go over here. You could also get Larvitar there. Yeah, I know. It is what it is. Uh, let's go up here. Dire hit. Useless. And yellow shard also useless. Okay. Um, I guess we do this now. Or we potentially get trap hinge. Or uh, golem or whatever. Um, so I think we lead Turtwig here. We don't have any other trainers to fight, right? So there's no reason to not get all of these guys up to like level 14. Oh. Baton pass? Ah. I don't think we do baton pass. Swift? Better than rapid spin, I think. Uh, okay. All right, let's see what we get here, yeah? Um, muscle band. That's nice. How do EVs work when you use your candy? That's the thing. They don't. You just don't get EVs. That's why I'm doing it. Well, that and to cut time, but... All right, what are we getting here? Okay, so no Aaron. Kind of sucks. But Geodude dupe means that we're pretty likely to get Riolu at the very least. Um. I'm sorry, Aaron. I really liked using you. You were such a good boy. Got a rock throw. It's a little scary. 
Man, one ball HG is not really like, we are not doing well with that. All right, what kind of food is this? Nugget is not a food. <laughs> Pop rocks. Arms. <laughs> Pop Rocks is fine. That's what Rotom was named, but we'll do Pop Rocks for this guy. Meatball is what we named him last time. Uh, let's hope we get Rockhead instead of Sturdy, I guess. Man. Okay, could have been worse. Oh, um... So we get the Moonstone so that we can evolve Umbreon, right? Isn't that how that works? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta get the Moonstone to evolve Umbreon. Cool. All right, let's try and go get Riolu. Um, that would be huge. Riolu does learn to counter and bite and low kick, so that's a little scary, but um, okay. The other alternative is Diglett. And we can get Riolu higher at level 20. Or at level eight, sorry. Okay. Um. Is Riolu hard to catch? It's a 50-50% chance. No, so Diglett has a higher percent rate, I think. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um... Alright. Alright, Riolu. Show me what you got. Chief. Make this easy on me, Riolu. It's a dupe. Cool. Um, cool, cool, cool. Very, very nice. This has counter, bite, low kick, endure. So we gotta be a little careful. Damn, that would have been cool. Do I have a way to catch this? Yikes. Okay, nice. Whew. <laughs> All right. What are we naming this?
Rigatoni? <laughs> I don't know. Fine. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Rigatoni it is. Rigatoni. Um, so... <laughs> All right, um, let's do it. Should do a run with all pasta nicknames, yeah. <laughs> all right, Rigatoni, show me what you got, Chief. Um, hasty, ah, and steadfast. So steadfast should go to adaptability. And it's speedy, baby. Woo! Great encounter. Great frickin' encounter. Um, is there any reason to delay this or just evolve it instantly? Reversal, crunch. Uh we don't want to get we don't get nasty plot, but we'd have to wait until level 28 for nasty plot. I think we just evolve this. It's fucking disgusting. Let's go. All right. Um All right, let's let's take a peep at some of these mons here. So, uh, what have we looked at? We haven't looked at t this turtle. Uh, Lotad, you any good? That's good IVs. Good IVs on Lotad. Trash on Machop, of course. Uh, that's pretty solid. That's bad, but whatever. What are you gonna do? Bell Sprout. Okay, it's not terrible. It's chlorophyll, so that's decent. Riolu. Oof. Okay, you're at least you're you're almost max speed, which is nice. But this is leaves a little bit to be desired. Uh, okay. Zubat. Good Zubat. Good Zubat. That is a good, good Zubat. It's a little weak, but that's okay. Uh, Merrill's we know is average. Um, it's a pretty good, pretty good Matang. 29, okay, okay. Things are not as dire as I once thought. And look, he loves me. Oh, and I forgot that it's Moonstone, not happiness, so we'll just do that. Okay. Um, nice. get a Lucario at level 9, yeah? Oh, I should have done it to Zubat, too. But, uh, great. What, in your opinion, is the best egg to get in Jubilife? Um, probably Lucario. <laughs> What's up, Luke? Happening means you can get Spiritomb on 209. That's true. That'd be nice. Um, okay. Let's take a look at this guy. Adaptability, baby. So just for those of you who don't know, that means that um, the stab 
bonus instead of 1.5 is 2, I believe. Um, so it's like a super effective move when you use a stab move. It's fucking insane. Uh, okay. Okay, Rourke should be pretty chill here. I believe we can always, um, we can always beat Rourke with, uh, Taunt and, uh, Geodude. Yeah. Go get the Brick Break TM? Where's that? Bottom of Orberg Gate. Can I get to Bottom of Orberg Gate? Uh. Force Palm? Don't even need Brick Break, bro. Uh, I don't think we need to endure ever. Look at that, I can get there. There it is. Hey, another Riolu. <laughs> Neat. No. That's Flash. Kill that. Hey, leave me alone. Okay. Level cap is 16, yeah. Hey. What? Where is it? Does this lady give it to me? Oh, wait. I forgot I have the bike already. Right, 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 right. The bike. Cusco's bike. The bike meant for Cusco. That bike? Jesus Christ. Whatever, free EVs. Thank you. Okay. Did I not register the bike? Register. This is why I hack in max repels. I would do that if it wasn't for the fact that ma uh, max repels require, or we need repels for repel manips. So it's technically GMO. Riolu's really like me. All right, I hate the bike in this game. Okay, okay, we did it. We did it. We did it, folks. Ladies and folks, we did it. Um, so now we just got to go to this, yeah? So um, let's take a look at this team again. I forget what it is. Actually, first off, let's just level up to everybody to level 16. You can still go around the, the things, yeah? Yeah, okay. Um, cool. Uh, let's take this champ. Whoops. So this chap is coming. Oh god, this team is disgusting for Brawly. Or whatever his name is. Who do I even replace here? Probably Bell Dummy. Um. So my understanding is that because he leads with Nose Pass, you can just taunt the Nose Pass. And then you can friggin' kill with... You just rock polish and set up with the Geodude, yeah. Um, got Nosepass, Bonsly, Geodude, Onyx, Larvitar, and Cranidos. Um, Lucario kills everything with zero setup, really? Let's see if that's true. <laughs> it learned swords dance. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, let's just... Hold on. Uh, 
Brick break. Low kick. Jesus Christ. Um, so nose pass. Yep, low kick kills that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. We got to adjust the EVs. Um, we have an expert belt, right? <laughs> got 41 speed. Yeah, I, I feel like... Okay, so low kick with expert belt. 100% kills his nose pass. What's next? Nose pass, bonds lie, Gia dude. So bonds lie. Uh, brick break kills bonds lie. Gia dude. Gets killed by brick break. Okay. Uh, Onyx. It's killed by low kick, and we outspeed, even if it's jolly. Okay. Um, and then Larvitar. Low kick kills. We outspeed, and okay, Cranidos also dies. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, um... As they say in the game of baseball, uh, that's, that's, that's it. It's over. It's the game. And it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, yeah. Well, cool. Only nose pass with sturdy. Yo, guess what doesn't have sturdy in this game? Because this is Gen 4. Nose pass. Sturdy doesn't work like that. So, uh. Yeah, this is, um. This is, this is, this is, okay. Well, you know, you know. That'll do. Uh. Okay. Stab and adaptability multiply, right? No. Oh shit, is it? Is it really? No, I, I don't think they multiply. Yes, sturdy only stops OKO moves like uh, horn drill. Okay, well, uh, these other guys can come for fun, I guess. Aqua Jet, sign me the frick up for that. Uh, we don't need rollout anymore, especially with Aqua Jet. Um, all right. Grottle, you don't evolve. Is Meryl huge power? Uh, she is. It is. He is. Yes. Bulldoze. Bulldoze. All right, let's rock and roll. Don't forget to taunt. Guess what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So Lucario literally one shots everything. Mods close the close the poll. What about Thunder Wave? What what about Thunder Wave? <laughs> Can't Thunder Wave something if we fucking kill it. I don't know what to I don't know what to tell you. Let's uh let's give this guy that, I guess. Um Um
doesn't matter. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Uh, cool. Where did the last Nuzlocke end? Last wipe, exclamation mark. Exclamation mark, last wipe, we'll tell you. All right, off we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, fine. You know what? All right, our, is the prediction closed, Cliff Able Table? Something have a focus sash? No, I checked. Oh no, they all have focus sashes. Nah, this is fine. Um, this. This is what you get for being heavy. Nose pass. No, just kidding. Brick break kills you as well, so it's fine. Dude, eh? All right. Well, critical hit. Cool. Good job, Lucario. Onyx. This is unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, it's okay. Low kick kills this. We outspeed. Uh, yeah. Bye. Is Lucario faster than Onyx? You tell me. Sonic has 36 speed. Oh, man. We're due to it for a death here with this type of uh, overconfidence, huh? Yeah, low kick and brick break kills this Larvitar because Le Larvitar is surprisingly heavy. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh no! Ah! It's okay. Um... Lucario is disgusting. All right, Bonds Lie. It's up to you, Bonds Lie. It's up to you, big boy Bondsly. Uh, you are not heavy, so we go to Brick Break, and we wacha. All right, last. Last it is. What do we got here? We got a Cranidos. <laughs> All right, Cranidos, Godspeed. I'm the best. I'm a master. Woo! Steel type trainer. I'm Byron, except I don't suck. Should have taunted? Yeah. Man, I can't believe I forgot to taunt there. Yikes. Yikers Island. Sweet! Sweet! Woo! Alright. Uh, woo! -hoo! By the skin of the teeth, I know. I know. Now we got stealth rocks to break any focus sashes. Suck eggs. Suck eggs, Rourke. Suck eggs, doubters. All right. Shall we? Uh, cool. I want everybody here to suck eggs. 
Where do I go to change my layout? I go to videos and then I go to stream supplies and then I go to current. Can somebody do exclamation mark LVL caps, please? No, like, <laughs> yes, thank you. I like exclamation mark in caps LVL. That's, uh, you, you did what I asked. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so Gardenia has a level cap of 26. I won 34 points. Don't blow them in one, one thing, you know? Uh, All right. Cool. That was fun. Uh, let's, um, move on, yeah? So, now... Woo! God bless Lucario. Alright, so now in Jubiloif City, we've got some galactic grunts to fight. Stunky, Silcoon, Glammeow, Cascoon. Looks like a job for Infernape. Are we doing Gardenia as well? We'll see. Probably not. There's a lot to do before that. But we'll see. Um, this team can stick around for now. Wait. There's like no reason to just... Not kill all these suckers with Lucario, yeah? Fighting Steel. Dusty, 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 dirty. 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 Um... We'll give we'll give we'll give this guy a little bit of breathing room. I guess we can give Zubat a little chance. What era are you in right now, Flygon? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> uh the Cretaceous? I don't know. Um Thud. Uh oh. Alright, let's not accidentally run into some trainers that I'm not prepared for, even though they're like level 5. Ooh, what's that? Oh, look, a shroomish! What? Was that a. I could get that? I would have much rather had that than whatever I got here. It's for Mew. Eh, I don't care about that. Cretaceous is a period. Is that a question? Um. All right. Well, let's bring Zuzu Bat. Uh, wait. Do these like? <laughs> Do these cascoons even know anything, or is it just bug bite? Cascoon. Here I am. Rocking like a cascoon. He is in the old man era. I'm kidding. Wait, no, but what did you mean, Clefable Table? He's in his not understanding era. <laughs> ah, whatever. Um, all right. Nah. Let's go, Matty. Um, the the Stunkies always have that stupid ability, right? Yeah, it's aftermath. Yes, hose. Oh, as in the reputation era, like as in as in what era of Taylor Swift am I in? I see, I understand now. Die. Um kill that. Hey Clefairy, why don't you Uh it used 
It used... It used what? Screech? I think I'm okay with that. Let's just spread, spread some love here. Okay, great. Bye. 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 Okay. Smashing battle. Thanks. Kill Clefairy. <laughs> like, just for fun. Sure. Um, alright, let's... Let's not over-level with Rigatoni over here. Rigatoni, this is a Nuzlocke, not a solo run, buddy. Calm down. That free attack, Ivy. Okay, um, Eevee, excuse me. Aw. Thank God we didn't get this. This sucks. Okay. Um. Uh, that's a flower lady. Am I to assume that I can't use that guy as cover? Did you see that? I'm an expert ninja. Holy crap. I'm so proud of myself for that one. You see that? Go, 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 go. All right. Let's dodge this. Uh, fine. Okay, so we have to fight those little chipmunks over there. Do they still have the... They have Plusle and Minin. Oh, boy. What does Plusle and Minin at level 15 know? Slash, can they do anything to, um... Geodude. The answer to that is a big fat no. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Cool. Can you just skip that double battle? I don't think you can. You can dodge them? Well, let me try. But just in case we can't, we'll do that. And, uh... That. Yeah, that was Captivate, right? Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Chief. All right. Let's see if you people know what we're talking about. Nice. Okay. All right. Uh, bullet seed. You know what's going to be cool? I bet in the in the, the honey tree, we're going to get a freaking munchlax. I, I just feel it in my bones. <laughs> Why don't I evolve Tur Turtwig? He, he doesn't get to evolve. He hasn't earned that right yet. Uh, okay. Got berries, hell yeah. Get Mew, don't tell me what to do. So I don't know what that means. Cornered her, okay. A Rost berry, thanks, okay. Um, what does this guy want? Wow, Aerial Ace? That's incredibly useful. I really appreciate that. Cherubi or my Scruppy? Uh, that sounds pretty nice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can get we can get freaking Typhlosion over here. Hell yeah. Um, what level are these guys at? Fifteen. Uh, 15. I'm not going to do trades, I don't think. Fifteen. I think we can handle that. What what level is Commander Mars at? She's a level 19. Ooh, better better slow our roll on Rigatoni, huh? Because we'll try and do it at 19. Um. So how do we kill these things? Whatever, let's just level this up real quick. <laughs> Here, go nuts. Go nuts, broccoli. Um I don't think I don't think we need razor leaf here anymore. I don't think bite is all that great, but welcome to the team. Ooh, bulldoze. Ooh. Ooh. Uh all right, screw absorb, I guess. And then 
18 into you. Okay. Ooh, we're going to get Azumarill. Nice. Eh. <laughs> no. Um... Look at that fat power now. 54 attack. It's better than freaking Lucario. Damn. Okay, cool. So she's going to start with the Chikorita. Uh, so we'll just kill it with that. And then go from there, yeah. It's like Zephyr Badge or something. Orange Apricorn. Sure, I don't know. Damn it. Sweet. Kill. Ooh, okay, so we know the Totodile has Intimidate. Is that how that works? I don't know. That doesn't that doesn't look like it could be random when you get it. Okay, fine. Die. All right. Uh, I think we're gonna take Cyndaquil here. We're not taking Totodile. Um, All right, what are we naming Cyndaquil? What type of food is Cyndaquil? It's a girl. Oh. Chili. Uh, chili was what Charizard was. Tortilla? Bet. And Totodile. No. Bye. Okay. This is the run? I freaking hope so. Freaking hope so, burrito. Fingers crossed. All right, so first off, we look at our rejects. Was this one with Serene Grace? It was, and that's a phenomenal ability. I mean, uh, nature. You were careful, pretty good nature, but it was torrent, not intimidate. All right, Cinequil. Moment of truth. Do we have two adaptability mons? Ah! Well. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Reset. <laughs> We've got adaptability Lucario. I think it's okay. Um, all right. Well, that's fine. I said it's fine. It's fine. All right. Um, cool. All right, so now we got to fight a Zubat and a Spinarak. And then a Krogunk and a Ladyba. That sounds like a job for uh, a Zubat of our own, I guess. But actually, we can just do Starly. Starly good for that? I don't know. I don't know. Um, 
What is a Zubat at level 15 now? Zubat at level 15 knows Confuse Ray, Poison Sting, Wing Attack, and Bite. Huh? Oh, so Geodude is fine against this. Yeah? Doesn't It probably doesn't have Absorb, right? 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 His wing attack at level 10. I mean, we can also, also lead this guy. Pro Gunk doesn't know Pursuit. Uh, Krogon does no pursuit. Hold up. It's probably fine. Krogan? Krogan's annoying. You are annoying, sir. Um... My scope lens summer. <laughs> All right, and we off. Let's fight this big bag of crap. Ah, oh, right, we have to go over there first. Whoopsies. Um, Valley Windworks. He has a Poochiana, a Gulpin, and a Houndour. Okay, so there's actually like a decent amount of people that we still have to fight. Oh, look. Chesto Berry. Petcha Berry. Hi, little nameless girl. Hi, little nameless girl. Uh, what's this? Magnet. Okay. Um, this person has Poochiana, Gulpin. Houndour. <laughs> uh, low kick. Do we want low kick? Yeah, I think we do want low kick. Okay, bye. Uh, great. Um, what was I gonna do for this? It's like a Zubat and a Spinarak and then another one. Maybe. Almost certainly. Why am I overthinking this? What is stopping me? Whatever. Um, okay.
Give me the sweet honey. Oh, it's a double battle. Oh. Uh, okay, well that changes things a little bit. Now done it. <laughs> um, okay, so this crow gunk. This crow gunk is level 15. It's got pursuit, torment, poison sting, and mud attack or whatever. So we're gonna do that. And then uh, it's got mud slap. And what is the Zubat gonna do? Some some stupid shit, probably. So we'll just go to you. Okay, use Pursuit. Interesting. Um, this thing now has Poison Fang, unfortunately. We can just go back to Pop Rocks, I think. Ooh, that's rude. What does this Ladybot have? Ladybot does have Mock Punch. Safeguard, Reflect, Light Screen. Okay, so we're just going to Wing Attack the Ladybot. And we're going to go back to Blueberry, I think. Spinarak at 15 has Nightshade, Poison Sting, Bug Bite, Scary Face. That's fine. Cool. Okay, so now we can get a Honey Tree encounter here. What's in here? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no, Pop Rocks died. Hello, I am new to these streams. Nice to meet you all. Thanks for being here, DJ Groves. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a lovely time. That a crit? No, that was a crit. I think. Um, okay. All right, what, what can we get from this tree up here in Floroma Meadows? Floroma Meadow, we can get Cherubi, Shroomish, Execute, Seedot, or Tangela. All right, well, uh, you're pretty good into that, I guess. Not great to have three water types or three Pokemon weak to grass. So let's fix that. Uh, you can come. You can come. Make sure to buy enough honey so you don't have to go all the way back to get leftovers. Thank you. Good call. Uh, you can come and yeah, you can come. We'll evolve you. Why not? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about in-game trades. Kind of messes with the uh, like the locations and such. Equalava. How do you manage the starter gift Pokemon? Pick which one you want at the start before you see them, and then you can only have that one, regardless of what the natures are and stuff. All right, what are we getting? Yet. Ruby sucks. Ruby sucks. Leech seed, growth, tackle, and morning sun. Ugh. Go nuts. All 
All right, we could, we could trade. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Bruh. Oh my God, predicted. Um, wait, this thing doesn't have a, this thing doesn't have a special attacking move. All right, what is Cherubi's food name? I think the trade is fair if you're sacrificing one of your regular encounters for it. Banana. <laughs> All right, poll. If there's a mod, can you please do a poll of whether I should trade this for the Skaruppi, like based on the rule set? I guess it's kind of fair. Because I do have to catch it. You can't nickname the Skorupi you'll get. Says you. I can do whatever I want. Um. So the idea here. I guess it's. I, I suppose it's fair. Um. Yeah, and it's not like I went out of my way to get the get the Pokemon or anything. Okay, I'm I'm talking myself into it. Okay, we'll trade it. Um Sounds good to me. Uh, it wasn't this dipshit. It was uh, this this lady. I do have a Cherubi. What are the odds? Get out of here, banana. Piss off, sucker. Ooh, in that case, should I, um, isn't there another trade where I can trade, like, a Machop for a Sfeel or some shit? Should I do that? Actually, I don't think I should do that. Yeah, it's a pony top for his feel, so I can't even do that. Okay. Oh, shit. Spike the Skaruppi has 31 attack, defense, and speed, and it's jolly? Holy hell. Yeah, this is kind of unfair, but whatever. <laughs> um, Mindy. It's sniper, though. It's not battle armor. Damn it. Damn it, Mindy. 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 Ugh. Oh, and it's also, it says link trade, so we're fine. Mindy. Uh.
Mindy sucks. I'm trying to think of somebody I hate more than Mindy, and I, I honestly can't. I can't. Sting is my favorite food. Guess what? We're going to change it. What do we want to nickname this thing? Put banana. We can name him banana. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, damn. <laughs> That's a good Pokemon. If only it weren't Sniper. Uh, oh my god, this thing sucks too. What is this? That's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We still have this guy. It's fine. Randomize EVs? Pfft, no. They do that. Hello, banana. Welcome to the team, banana. Look at that. What is that app you're using? Uh, it's called FaceTime. Um. Okay, so. We now... We can now go to Valley Windworks, I think. All right, Valley Windworks, we can get Magnemity, El El Elekid, Electric, Voltorb, Drifloon, and Pachirisu. Um, okay. Or we could go for a Honey Tree to whittle down Munchlaxes, but I think I want to get, I think I want to, want to, want to, want to do the thing, you know? Yeah, Okay. Gia dude, why don't you come back to the team? You guys are fine. Actually, we don't need you, Zubat, for any of these encounters. So let's bring... Uh, all right, well, let's use our, our new purchase, I guess. Uh, no, actually, let's not. I'll just... Um, do we have enough balls? We don't have anything to, like, put Pokemon to sleep, which is kind of annoying, I'll be honest. Alright, let's see what we got here. Another 10% Drift Loon, that's interesting. These things are really hard to catch, though. At Drifloon last time. It was our present last year. 11. Uh, it's got Gust, Focus Energy, Minimize, and Astonish. AKA, that's annoying. Uh, well, we can't can't hurt it with this guy. Um, Gust. That doesn't... It's not great. I believe we kill this with anything that we use. That sucks. Uh, I don't know if I can catch this. Damn. Nice, I can caught it. Uh, what was the name of this guy? What's the, what, what kind of food is this? Balloons? Plastic? Bo boba? Boba? Oh yeah, it was grape. Of course it's grape, look at her. She's a grape. We did surgery on her. 
How many times am I gonna tell that joke before it gets old? Okay. Ooh, shockwave. Well, um, things are looking dire again when we don't have any electric types, but at least we'll get Rotom, and hopefully I don't kill it this time. Uh, Alright, Floon. You gonna be unburdened again, or are you gonna be the much more useless Rash? Eh, unburdened. Nice. Okay, welcome to the team, Grape. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, let's blow through Valley Windworks, yeah? Uh, we snow. Oh, wait, wait, we can go up here? Okay, so there's no reason to not fish for the magic carp right now, yeah? And worst case, we get shelter or lantern. I want to I wanna fish for the magic carp here. It does have an icicle spear, so we probably need to do this guy. Now we got a dive ball. We're fine. So this is where I got Magikarp last time. I don't really like any of the uh, potential um, grass encounters here. So, yep, yeah, okay, Magikarp it is. Cool. Um, That's nice. Maybe we won't kill uh, the Gyarados this time as well. What do we want to name this? Chicken? We named this chicken last time. We call this one sushi. Right, fish it is. All right, let's let's see. All right, fish. What are we not going to do with you, fish? We are not going to use bounce with you because bounce is ass. Um, so I think actually last time we did over level for this Gardenia or this, uh, is it rash? It's not very good. It's actually a terrible nature. <laughs> but um, we last time we over leveled. So let's see if we can do it this time without over leveling. Because I wanted to have the Umbreon, and I also wanted to have the um, Gyarados. But I th I believe, personally, personally, that we can do it without any of that boo hockey. Grimer? I hardly know her nose. 15. That nose sledge. That's not good. Uh, why are you at level 19? Why did I do that? Whatever. Um. Okay. Last one has a Kakuna, a Pineco, and a Metapod. Uh, does the Pineco at level 14 no explosion? It does. Um, we should be able to kill that with Tabasco, though, right? Oh, wait, we got Drift Blim, don't we? <laughs> Get over here, Drift Blim. Bob Rocks can probably take an explosion, yeah, or self-destruct, but... I, I don't know if that's true. Plus, we just got a ghostly ghost. Clumsy's clum what clumsy taters? Thank you for the sub. I really appreciate it. Second trainer is skippable. You're skippable. I don't care. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. That was rude. Um.
Let's double check and make sure he is skippable. Okay, he's skippable. Why didn't somebody tell me? Let's go and figure out a uh, Mars strat. You can do Deathless Mars if you guys want. Um, so this Mars Bars has Zubat, Bronzor, Yanma, and Perudgely. Um, it's kind of scary. Or is it? I say. Or is it? The Zubat's mad annoying. Poison Wing, well, Poison Fang, Wing Attack, Toxic, and Confuse Ray. Um... So, I mean, Jawbreaker handles that fine. Wipe to Mars again? I never wiped to Mars. Um, Perugly is Fake Out, Hypnosis, Facade, and Faint Attack. Um, so Geodude's really good for that. Yanma is... I believe Azumarill is pretty good. Isn't Azumarill relatively specially defensively bulky? Not really, but <laughs> kind of. Who else is here? Bronzong's kind of scary with extra sensory and gyro ball, although also walled by Jawbreaker. We don't have, um, we can get a leftovers actually. Can we not? Which of these guys learns thief? Zubat learns thief. We'll get some freaking leftovers. Oh, wait, we don't have Thief yet, do we? That's... Whoops, that was a waste of money. Dang it. Can Lombre learn? Lombre has pretty good special defense, although this one is minus special defense, but... Oh, it's plus special defense. Nice. Okay, um, let's, let's look at Lombre. You got Knockoff, Chief? Not yet, you don't. Damn. That's not great. Okay. Uh, we can evolve Umbreon if we want wish support, which I think we do. Evoli, thank you for the gifted subs. You can covet from Eevee. Duh, thank you. <laughs> so true. Uh, cool. That is that is what we will do. Nope. Wee, wee. <sighs> um, that was nice. Damn. I'm not going to do that BS where I try and be cool and only use one leftovers. I'm, I'm way... This game is way too hard for that. I'm going to need you to stretch. I... Wampurim. Thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. It's like 100 points. I don't, if I'm not, I don't want to do it. Um, did I take away the leftovers? I did. Ooh, hi, Slackoff. Man, Slackoff would be cool. Hmm. We're running this dry spell of some machops or some machokes or some whatevers. Some munchlaxes. Third time's a charm. A real nice onion. Thank you for the sub. I hope you live up to your name. Want you to stretch for your health? Eh. Health is kind of overrated. Okay, this is 
is starting to get tedious and ridiculous. Give me at least three leftovers. At least three leftovers. And then I'll give up. I'm back. Poland is going is going qualified for World Cup. Nice. Congrats. DND Iron. Um, that's awesome. I'm happy for you. It must be nice to be from a place where people are good at football. Men, I guess the women's in the US are really good. Mer Chrysler, thank you, the bald guy. Mer Chrysler to you as well. Uh, we'll just keep going until we run out of this stuff. Okay, we're out. Holy crap. Holy gifted subs. Batman Double O Jones, thank you so much for the, what, five gifted subs? Jeez. What'd I do? Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Jeez. Jeez. Okay, but now we got some leftovers. Oh my god, and Mobutt with five gifted subs. I'm sorry for being sassy to you now, although, just so you know, just because you're gifting subs doesn't mean you're better than anybody else, so you, you deserve my sass just as much as anybody else. But seriously, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's awesome. I really, really appreciate it. Here's five subs, you cranky dude. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate it. And Lundin with the sub via Prime. Holy crap. Holy crab. Um, let's level up some of these guys so that we can get a better feeling for who we're dealing with here. First time watching in forever. How's the new attempt been so far? Uh, it's been fun. We just started today, but it's going pretty well, I think. Hopefully. I don't know. Um, this is the first major obstacle, though. This uh, fight against Karen or whatever her name is. And 19 is a really annoying level cap because kind of a lot of things evolve at 20. Bubbly. Better than Water Gun. Um... Bite, better than tackle. What happened to the last run? We wiped against, uh, ooh, yawn. Man, that makes it worth it. Holy shit, did not know he got yawn in this game. That's super nice. Yawn support is amazing. Mega drain. Mega drain. What's up, Lombre? Fake out. Ooh. Nope. Not even Dreano can get rid of Fury Swipes. What a dog shit move. Is Yon t one turn in this game, or is it like Emerald Kaizo? No, it's like regular Yon. You know? Or like, does the thing. Seismic Toss? Eh. Um, Revenge? That's pretty good. Um... Oh, we're gonna get uh, Staraptor. No. Oh. Can I learn it twice, buddy? Uh, Aerial Ace. Uh, better than Wing Attack. <laughs> Alright, score you pie. Bug Bite. Uh, sure. Oh, you've got Knock Off. I wonder, no, you're not dark type, so you get the shit beat out of you by, uh, what's his name? By Bronzong. All right, this is our team now. Does this guy evolve early? Probably not. Do you think they should change the status sleep to drowsy like they did in Legends Arceus? Absolutely not. 
Absolutely not. I hate that. I hate that. I hate it. Hey, hey, look, look at me. I hate that. Never, no, 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 no. No. Vine Whip is 45 in this game, huh? Gastro Acid? Uh, big Brain Strat on the Bronzong, get rid of its Levitate? All right. Um, oh, whoopsies. The uh, sorry, I forgot to turn on this thingy. Okay. Hey, thank you all so much for the hype train. I really appreciate it. All right, level nineteen is what we can get to. We got to deal with a Zubat, a Bronzor, a Perugly, and a Yan Mega. Um, the Yan Megas be pretty scary, but we can actually we can probably kill that with a Body Slam plus a um, Aqua Jet, and I don't think this Yan Mega can two shot this guy. Um, so Azumarill, you're coming. Who are we leading with? Into Poison Fang, Wing Attack, Toxic, Confuse Ray, Zubat. Um, Staryu is pretty decent because it's bulky. Um, Right? No, never mind. Um, wing attack, poison fang. War turtle's pretty nice. I mean, Geodude's decent. But we kind of need Geodude. Actually, doesn't this guy just destroy Perugly? Yeah. Like, I guess, I guess it could get hypnosis to do. But let's do these two. Uh, Magikarp, you're obviously not coming. You were just a placeholder. Um. Beldum does really well into Bronzong. The only issue is that... can't really do damage to him um you've got knockoff which is pretty good into the bronze orb but i'm pretty sure you just get your shit rocked by an extra sensory um we don't have a lot of psychic resists yeah the bronze ore is kind of an issue Doesn't Beldum do well into Zubat? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, if we don't get confused. I guess that's not terrible. And that does bait Feign Attack, which is an easier switch in to like Azumarill and stuff. So maybe that's good. Um, it's really, it's honestly just this Bronzor. I don't really know what to do about this Bronzor. Um, it's pretty strong. It's pretty scary. We've got Bite on Eevee. Grotal. I think that's what you're going for with Groton. <laughs> um, yeah, Grotal's not terrible there. I mean, it's still going to take a crap load of damage from Extra Sensory. Although Bronzong kind of like sucks ass, right? Yeah, okay, maybe that's fine then. You kept Cherubi, you could have leech seated. Well, Braviary, there was an award for a useless comment. You'd be in contention. <laughs> I'm so mean. No, that, that's a good point, but we didn't keep it. So. Eevee into Umbreon could be goaded. Yeah, that's true, but um, I want to keep Wish Pass. And. Eevee can't learn Wish Pass yet. Um, 
<laughs> Such a mean comment. Meatloaf heavily slept on? Who the fuck is Meatloaf? Oh, just like you're just talking about Meatloaf in general? Like, okay, I guess. Um, what about Lombre just for fake out? 40 damage. Can bubble it up a little bit. What am I doing? What what's what's taking care of the Yanma, the Azumarill, presumably? Presumarill? Um Meatloaf hella ass. <laughs> um What's fairies typing to poison? Weak? I don't know. Uh huh. Do I really not bring Monferno to a battle with a Perugly? Monferno has fake out. Doesn't help much into Bronzor. Um, you don't have Intimidate, right? Yeah. Intimidate Mon would be super nice here. Drifloon, Ominous Wind. The issue is that I think Bronzor just devastates Drifloon. Drifloon has like negative three defense. Um, so I think it's between these two or honestly even Machop. Burmy, you don't do diddly shit, right? Yeah. What about Quilava? Is it possible setting up? You need to give me more info than that. I'm not quite sure where we're going with that. Um, You know what, though? Do we have bite on the Lucario? I think we do have bite on the Lucario. <laughs> yeah, this might be fine. I think this is probably fine. Uh, let's just bring either one of these two. All right, thank you, Scythe Guy. Um, all right, I think I think we do Monferno here for just like more damage with Fake Out. What about Staryu for special defense? Staryu doesn't have good special defense. And he doesn't really do much here. I guess the Yanma's a little scary. Do Tortilla into Yamma, or we could bring this for Yawn support. Isn't War Turtle relatively bulky? That's decently bulky. I, I'll convince myself that that's bulky. Yeah? Alright. We don't have Fake Out support, but I think that's okay. Alright, let's do it. What could counter Hypnosis? Yeah, we do have a couple Nature Cure Pokemon that I'm not using here either, right? Star, you has Nature Cure, and doesn't something else have Natural Cure? No, just Star, you. But I just, like, I don't think that... I mean, I guess this walls Bronzong relatively well. Star, you? Not really. How much does Water Pulse do? Water Pulse is 24 to 29. Eh. Oh yeah, the Burmy has Shed Skin, but Shed Skin is ass. Um, 
All right, so we bring do we bring that instead of yawn support with war turtle? I don't think so. And also war turtle knows bite. And it's bulkier. Yeah, no no no, this is fine. All right. Um so magnitude Uh no. I'd rather have bulldoze, I think. I regret that. Okay. Um, Umbraz with the gifted subs. Thank you so much for the two gifted subs as well as Mobut for the other gifted sub. Wow, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, wow. Lucario can learn water pulls. That's interesting. Okay, um... So what kind of berries do we have? We have one Chesso berry. And that's it, basically. Um, all right, well, let's give the Chesto berry probably to Lucario. Lucario resists both of Perugly's attacks, so I think that that's fine to do. Um, it's annoying. We don't have, oh, we do have a Petra Berry, but who am I beating the, this, oh, with this guy. Do I want an expert belt? I mean, I'm pretty sure Zen Headbutt just kills the Zubat in one shot. I guess it's a big deal if it doesn't. Um, or if I have a Petra Berry, is somebody better at dealing with this? The, the, the Gia dude, right? give you lefties uh wait 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 we'll give you lefties we'll give you lefties we'll give you actually i think we want you to give you lefties we don't need lefties on you Fine, I guess we'll just give you Mystic Water. Oh, wait. What does the, the Turtwig do? Right, it's for Bronzor. Muscle Band, Leftovers, Chesto... 
Alright, fine. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's do it. Prediction appears to be closed. Off we go. And these stupid things have citrus berries. That's really annoying. Seems unfair.
Cool. All right, we did it. Did I miss anything important? A fly Azumarill is going to be in Pokemon Unite. Cool. Nebula redeemed a stretch. There's a stretch. Finally, a challenge that takes more than one try. <laughs> uh, cool. Sweet. All right. Went to little goblin mode there, but we got it. <clears throat> Voice crack and everything. Papa? Is that my papa? Why is he named Papa? Deathless Mars? You betcha. You bet your bottom dollar it was deathless. There you go, kids. All right, let's do it. Why do they... I hate this part of the game. Why do they make you wait for him to go into the building? Like, what... What a dumb part of this game. Okay, onward. Whee! All right. All right. All right. All right. Got some good kids here. So, um take a just go to the bathroom real quick and then we'll get to at least Cheryl we'll do Cheryl yeah all right um BRB All right. Um. All right, Cheryl's got a chancy at level 20, Jeebus. Um. She's got a Whalmer, a Drifloon, a Makuhita. Let's clear up two Eterna Forest at the very least, though, first. Uh, we can probably do it with this team. Uh, we want to keep everything at level 20 because Cheryl's Chansey is at level 20. So this first person... Oh, wait, sorry. This first person is a Surskit, Paris, and a Venomoth. A Venonat. <laughs> um, you know, I could stand to have, like, a slightly... I don't know. Oh, never mind. We got him. All right, War Turtle, back to the box with ya. Useless, drizzleless motherfuck. Let's go. TJ Yodaberg with the sub for 12 months. TJ, thank you so much. Have you picked up our puppy from daycare yet? She wants to come home. I can feel it. 
<gasps> oh my goodness. Hi, honey. Hey, come on. 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 Hello! Did you come say hi to daddy before drinking? She met a one-eyed pussy on the way home. Oh, really? Oh my goodness! I missed you! She went to daycare today to get some socialization and to give me a little bit of a break. Oh! oh ooh! Look what Dana got me. Peeps! Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hi, honey! Absence makes the heart grow stronger. It's truly true. Um, bulk up seems unfair. Okay, so that hiker man. Let's look at hiker man over here. Hiker man Daniel or Nicholas. Which one? Well, either way, it's Diglett, Shielden, Nummel. Or Shellos and Onyx. What's up, King? So the Diglett one. Diglett, Shielden, and Nummel. Oh no, not Bulldoze. Um Alright, just make sure this thing doesn't have metal burst. It would be kind of absurd if it did, but. Can you do anything to us at 15? Iron defense, takedown, metal sound, and taunt. No. Cool. Okay. Um, this guy. This little walker man person. Presumably it's Camper Jacob. I hate him already. Ponyta, Mareep, and Buizel. Uh, We got a pretty damn good team here. Ponyta... Kill with that. Mareep will kill with that. And Buizel will kill with that. Okay. And the only reason I'm fighting these people... Oh. Oh. Camper Zachary pulled a fast one on me. I just don't want to have to fight these people. Or accidentally fight these people. So it's better and like easier to just get rid of them, you know? Um, Slack off. Apom and Talo. I don't, I don't think... I think it's fine. Ah, what was that, Crush Claw? Taylor's got Wing Attack, Quick Attack, yeah. Is the Focus Energy worth it, Chief? Uh, this person looks avoidable. But this is Hiker Nicholas, so we can just kill him with Broccoli. Barbara Broccoli over here. That's fun. The more people we... Great. Um, okay. He's a level 20, though. There's a battle girl coming up with a Machop, a Mankey, and a Metatite. Um... Is that scary? Not really. Also, we got a Zoomerill. Um, maybe I avoid fighting that person if I can, you know? Yeah, okay, I can avoid this person if I'm smart. It's a big if, but... And this person also looks very dodgeable. Yeah, okay. Okay, um... 
this person, this picnicker has a piplup and a chimchar. Well, let's just... Mm. Right, let's not deal with her if we can avoid it. So... And this camper... What's this? This aroma lady has a Chikorita and a Bulbasaur? Uh, that's not the best for our team to deal with, so ideally we, we, we dodge this girl. Uh, oh, and this is Camper Hakobo. Okay. Okay. So we got Drifloon, Makuhita, Whalmer. Makuhita's walled by Magikarp, which we can now get. Or uh, Gyarados. Hold on. Some honey now for Beedrill. I don't think I want Beedrill. Is Beedrill good? Like, what is Beedrill good for? Um, so this Drifloon has Ominous Wind, Air Cutter, Shockwave, and Swift. Um, that's kind of scary. Is it, though? Is it even that scary? Yeah, kind of. What, what do we do about that? I mean, it sucks. It's a Drifloon, so I think... Honestly, Azumarill probably just kills that, but let's check. Like, Aqua Jet twice has got to kill that. No? Oh, wait. wait. <laughs> Huge power? Yeah, okay. Um, but not even. Damn. This guy be bulky. Um... Maybe with a uh, Aqua Jet, but okay. Um, like, what is good? Like, this thing kind of hits every single one of my Pokemon for super effective damage. If not super effective, at least neutral. We can get this uh, Burmy to be... Ooh, how do I make it Trash Cloak? Do I have to fight in, like, a building or something? It's got Shockwave. Other than that, Gyarados would be good. Um, I mean, Lucario's decent into it. Like, I wonder if Lucario Bite just kills this. Probably not. Close. Um... How does Juan kill this stupid Drifloon easily? It's really annoying. emotional damage on the Drifloon. I don't know. I don't know. How do I kill this stupid Drifloon? It's super annoying. Um, I could do Magikarp. I wonder if, if Bite just kills 
the Drifloon and we can tank a Shockwave? Probably not. Rock Tomb on Lucario. I mean, it's the same as Bite. It doesn't kill, but it might be it might be enough. And like, what is it gonna do against us? We've got pretty shit special defense. Ominous Wind Crit. Double Crit would be bad, especially if it gets a speed boost. Um, Expert Belt. doesn't kill um i wonder do we outspeed with scoruppy i wonder if knockoff from scoruppy kills probably not and i bet air cutter kills in return yeah air cutter crit kills um we don't even outspeed it <laughs> Gyarados does that speed, but I don't think it kills it. Um, here. Stupid Drifloon, man. Might have to just whittle it down with something and hope that it doesn't get a bunch of Omni Boosts off. Um, Expert Belt does not guarantee kill, but it gets pretty close. So 62% chance to kill. Shockwave is never... Mm, mm, Shockwave can crit kill. Shockwave almost certainly crit kills. I could do damage into it and then switch in on Bite, but um, so Azumarill handles this semi-okay as well. Can you learn? Can you learn? Can you learn? Can you learn Bulk Up? Um, you can learn Rock Tomb. Nope. I can't learn anything, pal. Uh, okay. Hmm. How much does Ominous Wind do to Geodude? Probably way too much. Yeah. Uh, so maybe it is Lucario. Why is this Drifloon so good? What the hell? Bite does 66 to 81 percent. Expert belt. I think I think it has to be Lucario. Um, that's kind of annoying though. Because Lucario does really well into Chansey. All right, so Makuhita is walled completely by Gyarados if it doesn't have an item. Uh, so that's fine. We'll leave him. Uh, Whalmer has Water Pulse, Rock Tomb, and Rollout, so honestly, just Azumarill with Body Slam, I think, is fine. Uh, if it goes for Rock Rollout, I guess that's kind of an issue. We can always just go to Jawbreaker, maybe? 
Um, also, doesn't doesn't this evolve at level 20 now? Did I make that up? Nice. Well, that helps. Um, Wormadam got protect. Yeah, the thing is, is I don't know how I can evolve this. Oh, you know what? You know how I can evolve it? I can go to um, I can go to the building. The Drifloon would actually be really good into everything if we can evolve it. The, it's just kind of hard to evolve because I would want to first turn it into a Steel type. But I can probably do that against um, the lady that gives me the um, the Hoenn starters. Yeah. So just gotta watch out for the for the Torchic. So we'll just bring War Turtle. And then Mudkip is fine against. I think you have to you have to fight. You have to fight with it in a building. Like, I don't think trainer school would work, too. We did not fight those people, so let's be careful. Can I do the trainer school? Ice and power ice, it's not super useful. Nice. Um, Dame. Okay, um... So yeah, I think Wormadame is okay into Drifloon. Yeah, that might be good. Um, just scary if it starts getting ominous wind boosts. So we might honestly want to still use Lucario, but he helps into other stuff. And especially because he has protect, he can be a good whale lord counter, whale mer counter. Um. Okay, so last is Chansey. Um, I need to bring something for Chansey that's not Lucario on the off chance that something happens to Lucario. Um, Ice Beam, Hyper Voice, and Thunderbolt is pretty good into most things other than Lucario and Wormadame. Um, Um, I guess Monferno. Hyper Voice from Chansey probably doesn't crit kill Monferno, right?
Yeah, not likely to. Okay. All right, that's a good team. Uh, we don't give him a, we don't give him anything. Um, leftovers is fine on you. Leftovers is fine on you. Charcoal, I think we actually want to give you. Um, band. I think we give you cherry berry. Okay. Um, is Lucario better to lead against the... I think it still is. Hello. Just double bite. Hmm? Probably, yeah. Um, do I want a normal type so that it does an ominous wind boost? Ah. All right. Banking on no Omni Boost has never failed me in the past. That's so true. Um. All right. You know what? Give this Mystic Water. Okay. Here we go. Uh, let's remember to not... We fought that guy. I Yeah, we fought that guy. We did not fight the battle girl, though. All right. Uh, mods did not do a death list prediction. Sorry. But we'll just roll. Um, okay. with a bite. This is going to activate on Burden, which is super annoying, but whatever. It's got a Citrus Berry. Okay, it goes for Air Cutter. That's perfect, actually. It's 15 damage. Um, okay. This says it has a Citrus Berry, but I guess it just doesn't. That is fine with me. Well, that makes things way easier. Cool. 
All right, Makuhita, so it's either gonna go for Fake Out or it's gonna go for Brick Break. Um, so we're just gonna go to the Fish. Just can't do anything to us. It was just above the threshold of Citrus Berry? No, it wasn't. Citrus Berry ac activates at 50%, people. Ah, bullet punch, eh? God, fuck bounce. <laughs> Nice. Um, okay, so probably Whalmer next. Uh, Chansey. Oh, right, because of Thunderbolt. Um, so... This is where things get a little scary. Let's just make sure that Chansey can't crit kill this Lucario. Does at most 32 damage, and Lucario should always be able to kill this with Brick Break, even without adaptability, right? Yeah. Uh, we've got the Cherry Berry in case this paralyzes, which it didn't because this Chansey is unlucky as hell. This is Whalmer. That's a lot of EXP. And Whalmer. Let's go to... Missed, huh? Bold play, Cotton. Get to keep our cherry berry, that's nice. Cool. All right, that is Cheryl defeated. Yeah, Lucario helps out a lot, huh? <laughs> Adaptability, Lucario. Great. Great. Excellent. Yeah, you can you can do that, but um, I'm, I'm gonna leave you for a second. We gotta go get some uh, repels. Okay. Um. All right, back to some peaceful Pokemon music. There's a repel. Okay. Um, so let's get a couple repels just because we don't want to have to catch a Pokemon with Cheryl attached to us so that if she, like, she might try and kill it, you know? So 
How much longer are you planning on going? Probably an hour. We'll just see where we end up. I don't think we'll get to Gardenia because we still have to do the whole ice route. Um, all right, so there's a bunch of people in here with bugs. There's some psychic trainers. There's all sorts of stuff. Should be pretty easy, though. Uh, we can bring Golbat or Zubat, I guess. Um, actually, let's bring Staraptor. Wait, when does Zubat evolve? Twenty-two. I think these are actually these are fine. Um, Slowpoke. Execute and not to is kind of scary. There's a Baneri. But it's next to Surskit, so we can just... Okay, okay. Um, How useful Monferno is going forward. Whatever, whatever. Thank you for the follows, Pigeon MP and Chris. And maybe Gamer, thank you for the sub from three minutes ago. I think I missed that. I appreciate it. Okay, so we have to do a double battle. Surskit, Paris, Venonat. We can just take out the, the Baneri, though, which is the scary one, and then it's Meryl and Surskit, and then we can just wall that with our own blueberry here. Um, or fish or whoever. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. We have to do this as a double battle, though. Oh, you can dodge them. I didn't... Whoops. <laughs> I, I forgot that he gets rid of all of that stuff. Nice. Jesus. Bone Rush? Um, I think we no longer need Low Kick. Feel it. Is Venonat now? Nothing useful. Ah, oh, damn it, that was a waste of a cherry berry. Oh well. Whatever. We should be getting some more stuff soon. Okay, so these are the psychics. I think we take this one at a time. And we just plow through it with Wormadame. Yeah. This person has Spoink, Drowsy, Baltoy. I think it's the same thing. Wormadame is fine. Um, bug Bite. Rude. Uh, 
Okay, Wormadame? Not... Not too shabby. <laughs> nice, okay. Um, there's some bug catchers and some psychics. Have you considered hacking in berries as you progress in the game? Yeah. Yeah, I will do that when we get to that point. Netball. Uh, we can skip that person. I think we can skip the rest of these people, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Oh, she gave me returns. Thank you. I think that's return, right? There's some cherry berries. Silver powder? Sleep talk, okay. All right, we've gotten to Eterna, so that's good. Um, uh, cool. Let's go trigger this. Okay, we can get some more encounters, yeah? Um, no, so Togepi can be hatched in the bike shop to make it a um, a separate encounter. So we can actually fish for any turn encounter. Uh, and that's totally fine. Um, it's super nice. So we also get an encounter here on Route 211. The question is which side I want it on. Um, and then we can also get Mount Cornet, which is going to be Feebas. And then I think we're good to go. Um, yeah, so we can potentially get Dratini here, which is nice. Let's go do that now. Um, Did I delay for the Dratini last time? I did, but then it didn't end up mattering because I want the Lepra from, um, whatchamacallit. So it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to, I'm going to not delay for Dratini this time. Although, I mean, I guess it could be worth it. I don't know. Um... All right, well, let's go do Eterna City first. So, or Eterna Forest. Um, so on Eterna Forest at night, since we're at night now, it can be Baneri, Shroomish, Murkrow, Mischievous, Slackoth, Ninkata, or Talo. It's all pretty good. Um, actually, this is not nighttime. We should make it nighttime. 84% Mischievous at level 16. Oh, shit. Yeah, we are definitely doing that. All right, this is going to fuck up. I, I hate how this fucks up my uh, OBS, but that's okay. Uh, we definitely want Mischievous. Mischievous is filthy in this game, if we can get it. Um, so let's do that. Let's go to... Let me just change my clock. I don't believe it's nighttime yet, technically. Whoops. So let's go to... Let's make it 10 p.m. Like magic. And let's go get Mischievous. That's huge. Mischievous at level... At level 16. Do we have... Did we catch something yet? Ah, nuts. We have to catch something else. Okay, let's go catch the uh, either the Dratini or the whatever. 
Um, does Dratini have Dragon Rage? I swear to God, if it has Dragon Rage, I'm going to lose my mind. Although we have uh, Azumarill. Dratini at level 10 has Dragon Breath, Thunder Wave, Rapplier. Okay. Um, the Bell Sprout has Sleep Powder. Okay, um... Be cool to get Dratini here, but it's probably Poliwag. That's a dupe. Uh, also, why are you out here, buddy? Um, all right. Okay, Poliwag, that's fine. So it's either going to be Water Absorb, which is really good for Crash or Wake, or it's going to be Swift Swim, which will give us Drizzle, which is pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, oh no, One Ball HG's got it. Hey, let's stop talking about whatever it is you're talking about, please. Um, what level, or I'm sorry, what is the food item of choice for Poliwag? I think last time he was Lollipop. Gumball? I like bubblegum. I like bubblegum more than gumball. You can do bubblegum. Is bubblegum one word? Or is it like bubble? Bubblegum is two words. Bubblegum is two words. Did not know that. Huh. All right, Bubblegum, welcome to the team, pal. Um, all right, this could be Drizzle. Adamant nature, so that's really good for Poliwhirl. And it is Water Absorb. So that's gonna turn into a Poliwrath because that's not Drizzle, I don't believe. Um, let me double check that. Oh wait, no, 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 it is Drizzle. No, it is Drizzle. Shit. Okay, okay, we got a Drizzle Mon. That's nice. Hey Flygon, what's up, man? How's your day been? Just wanted to say I love the content. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Okay, may you route. That gets you banned. Fuck off. Oh shit, sorry. I banned the wrong person. <laughs> um, how do you unban someone? Okay, you can just type unban. I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you should be unbanned. I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> Sorry about that, Manny Mies. Two names with M's a lot, right, right back to back. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for understanding. Sorry about that. Um, okay, the other person though, banned. Fuck off. Um, okay, so now we are at uh, potentially mischievous.
Yeah, okay, turn of forest, nighttime, mischievous at level 16, so we use polywag for that. Um. It's okay, I got a laugh out of it. I think we all did. <laughs> One ban HG, it was two ban HG, I suppose. He was on about how blah blah. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. I don't care about that. I don't choose to associate with that. So um, let's go to Taco. What level is what? So what does the Mischievous know at level eighteen? The reason that Mischievous is so good, sixteen, excuse me, is that it's um it's fi fairy type in this game. Ghost Fairy has like two weaknesses. At 16, it's got Ominous Wind, Disarming Voice, and Shadow Sneak. So a normal type sits on that pretty well. Just finished streaming myself and Flygon is on. Can't ask for a better end of the day. Awesome, I hope it was a good stream. It's Nagaloo. I hope it's it's good. Um, all right. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're gonna keep him on to put the mischievous to sleep. Although, if it has side beam, I guess that's not. We can't do that. Um, I think Azumarill is fine here to just tank. Avocado walls pretty well. I think it's these guys are fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. Some specially bulky boys. Um, may may want to think about this to burn out the uh, ominous winds. I don't know. Ninetales is also fairies here? Yes, it is. I remember that. That'd be cool. Get one of them Nine Tails. So we need to repel Manip at level 16. That's better than that. Rain Dance! Um, sure. Aspire to what you're going to become. Um, great. Hey, when you evolve a Pokemon in your special DS that you can only be evolved by trading, how do you go about doing that? It's called, um, having a dad at Nintendo. Excuse me. I don't have a dad at Nintendo. An uncle at Nintendo. Apologies, that was a mistake. All right, 84% mischievous. What can go wrong, yeah? It's not mischievous, but it's guts Talo, so. Could be worse. Or it could be scrappy. Shit, please don't be scrappy. 16 has double team, wing attack, quick attack, and focus energy. Um, okay. Why are you using a repel when trying to catch a Pokemon? Great question. Um, you can kind of knock off certain encounters and like increase the chances of getting a specific encounter by using um, uh, repels because a Pokemon at a certain level with the repel active will only find Pokemon that are above that level, if that makes sense. Uh... This is going to be annoying. These things are hard to catch. You're good, Scythe guy. I just banned somebody. I didn't have to delete a bunch of messages. Like It must have just auto-deleted them. What does Scrappy do? It makes it... <laughs> Scrappy Dappy Doo! Um, Scrappy Doo's... Um, you can hit ghost types with normal moves. It's pretty useless. But Guts would be incredible. 
Alright, what type of food is this? Corn? Why corn? Coconut? Scrappy Doo is my sleep paralysis demon. Porridge? I like porridge. That's funny. I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, porridge. Show me guts, baby. Not fucking scrappy. Please not scrappy. It's so useless. Show me scrappy. Show me scrappy. Ah, crap. That's, that is what I said, but I meant show me guts. This is useless. Damn it. Oh, uh, damn it. <laughs> and we didn't get mischievous. That's okay. At least we have Drifloon for a ghost type, but damn. Any other way for Miss Magius? I don't think so. Ah, just pretend it has guts. Oh yeah, we can just burn it and it'll be fine. Fuck. That would have been really nice. That would have been very, very nice. Man, mmm, mmm. I'm angry. I'm upset. I'm miffed. Even. It's like a 4% chance. 8% chance. Bullshit. Oh well. Um, okay, let's go to the old chateau and catch the Rotom. You still have a chance at Lost Tower. Um, the way that I do encounters is based on these things, and for whatever reason, Lost Tower is in its own area. Um, it's the same as the, the thing outside of it, and that's where you get Blissey. So I'm going to not do it. I like Gengar more than Rotom. I... Why? I really like Rotom because of like the different typings, and electric types are really rare. I think I'm going Rotom. I think it's definitely Rotom. Yeah, but like, the, it doesn't matter really the, like the, the typing doesn't really matter matter for the, uh, the, uh, what am I saying? It doesn't really matter for the moves. It matters more for the typing, right? Um, we would really use it like, like, it's really good, for example, Rotom into um, Crash or Wake. So, okay. So let's go get Rotom. I don't quite remember how to do that. And honestly, what what is the Rotom's level? So Rotom is level 20. Yo, Fevzioi. Wait, is that Fevzi like the, the VGC player? Thank you for the raid, I really appreciate it. That's so awesome. Thank you, thank you. I hope you uh I hope you had a great stream. What did what were you up to? I just saw your freaking um that tweet that you made about play rough like you missing a play rough man that happened to me like every single time in every single match i was using zashian i missed a play rough it's like 90 percent is total bull uh have a great stream man thank you so much i really appreciate it but yeah that made me laugh um you're an awesome vgc player keep it up keep it up you don't need me to tell you that but damn thank you for the raid i really appreciate it um all right rotom is level 20 so let's just check what so for those of you who don't know, who are new here, I'm Flygon HG. I do uh, Nuzlocks, hardcore Nuzlocks, all that type of stuff. We're currently doing Renegade Platinum. I literally just wiped on my last stream. 
Um, I had seven badges and I wiped to the 12v12 on top of Spear Pillar. So we are back at it again. We're at zero deaths right now, which is cool. And um, we're going, we're just rolling. We won't be live for much longer, but um, really appreciate everybody hanging out. Um, and yeah, Fevzy, thank you so much for the sub. Holy crap, man. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Rotom. Um, so Rotom... So Rotom at 20 has Uproar, Ominous Wind, Double Team, and Shockwave, which is actually pretty scary. I don't know if we want to catch that right now. I could delay it. I don't need it for Gardenia. You got that far first attempt. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it was, it was, it was, it was a thing. It was certainly a thing. Um... I just, I don't know if we can catch this Rotom. I don't know. Let's, let's not, not go catch the Rotom right now. We can go to Route 210. Um, so on Route 210, or 211, excuse me. On Route 211 East, there's Swablu or Meditide at level 18. Okay, we can do that. And then we can go, um, we can go do the, the ice routes as well. Get some more crap. Do you have a Discord? I do. I believe exclamation mark Discord should uh, give you that. Um, when do you get the Gen 1 starters? We already got the Gen 1 starters. I have Squirtle, but it does not have Drizzle, unfortunately. And we are using rare candies to level things up here to make it easier. Um... Okay, let's start first by going and uh, getting the Swablu, I think. We can get either Swablu or Meditite, I think is fine. I don't think there's anything else better. Route 211, let's just quickly check that. Meditite, Machop, Swablu, Teddy Ursa, Natu, Chingling. 211 East is Metatype, Machop, Swablu, Teddy. Yeah, okay. So it's the same thing, except for there's a chance of Bagon on the far right. But I feel like I feel like we still just go for either Metatype or Swablu. That's fine. The Bald Bot, thank you so much for the follow. Minty Mints, thank you for the follow. Bat Sion, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, we're not going to try and go for Bagon. Too low of an attempt. Or too low of a uh, chance. Um, what is... What does this guy have? Just make sure we're not setting ourselves up for failure here. Geodude, Slugma, and Beldum. <laughs> okay, well, he missed. There's a Moonstone. Um... Wait, wait, wait. I need more repels. I do not want to accidentally get Feebas. Or lose Feebas. Yeah, I need a bunch more repels. Okay. Um. Actually, let's go get Feebas first. So that we can get rid of that. Get that out of the way. Cuddly Cloud. Thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Hong Grease the Horse. Thank you for the uh, <laughs> the follow. If electric types are so rare, then why would you want to use Jolteon instead of Umbreon? Um, it's not a bad idea to get Jolteon, honestly. I just think that Umbreon is really good and also makes um, Fantina free. What do you possibly have? Nothing. Um, yeah. Jolteon's actually not that frail. On the special defensive side. So it's it's a very good Pokemon. I don't think that's a bad, like, idea at all. Um, I just think that Umbreon makes Fantina perfectly free. So there's no reason not to do it, you know? Ooh, a rare candy. So useful. Okay, so the, um, we're repelling over here so that we can get down here. And, um... We can guarantee Feebas here. Uh, 
Also, Umbreon is best non-Suicune Pokemon. So true, definitely not biased. You didn't get Gyarados last time, did you? No, I did. It just died super early. <laughs> Alright, cool. We got Feebaths. Uh, we're just going to name this guy Unagi again. If it ain't broke. Milotic, disgusting Pokemon. Love to see it. Alright, now we can go get... Um, do I have Poliwag still? Um, so let's just hug this here. What's this? Um, so we can guarantee Swablu or Meditite. I think that's fine. That boosts Skarmory or Shellgon on 210 North, so I definitely want to do that, because Skarmory is busted. So let's just get, um, let's just get Bubblegum to level 18 and then use that. Um, so... Just so people know, uh, what we're doing here is we're doing something called repel manipping so that we can get, um, better increase the odds of specific encounters, which is a little against the ethos, I suppose, of uh, Nuzlocking, but this game is really hard. <laughs> so um, it definitely helps a lot. So right now, by using a Pokemon that's at the front of our party that's level 18, uh, I fucked up. Wait, what? Well, we already have Machop, so that's good, but this is just a lie now. This is Route 211 East. Swablu Meditide at level 18. Maybe it means Swablu Machop? Well, that works! Whatever. <laughs> Bad teaching lesson, but uh, here we go. This thing has headbutt, dragon breath, bite, and ember. Shit, man, how are we gonna be able to catch this? Bubble Beam shouldn't do much here, I hope. It can kill. Um, part of the cards! Chip it with resistant moves? I think Bubble Beam still kills this. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> Um, I don't want to accidentally kill this. Tackle kill this with from Gyarados? Level 20? Tackle should never kill this. So you can get some damage off that way. Burn me. Burn me. Come 
Come on. Shit. Um... Azumarill is huge power. Oh, shit. That was stupid. Bug bite shouldn't kill. Uh, man, what? What do I do? Like, is there any way to hurt this guy? Without critting him? Probably not anymore. Um, I mean, I guess we could risk Poliwag. Like a bubble beam from Poliwag definitely doesn't kill. Oh, this fucker has hypnosis? Nobody told me that. Um, into Poliwag at level 18. Uh, we could be at risk to crits. Alright, let's just stay in for now. Shit. Um... Alright, I'm risking polywag here. Good afternoon, Mr. Stream. I hope the steams have been going well. Thank you. Thank you, Fesfipis. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the four months, man. Um I can't believe we just got big on. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, well, obviously this is a bagel. Um, that's amazing. Bagel. Watch it be just <laughs> terrible. Um, okay, well, let's... <laughs> this was... It was interesting. It was an interesting event that just unfolded. Uh, I kind of want to challenge me to a sky battle or something. So, what's down here? I I swear there's something down here. I guess not. Oh, Dragon Claw. If only we had a Pokemon that could learn Dragon Claw. Oh wait, we do. Ah, cause we got a big on. Ah. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, <laughs> let's just keep rolling. What what time is it? All right, let's check out Big on here. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty freaking good. All right, uh, awesome. So um, from Route 216, I believe we can guarantee Sneasel with her Palmanips, although who knows anymore, you know? But um, it looks like Route 216, if we use... Sorry, what am I looking at? 
Oh, I'm looking at this. So we're at 216, 100% Sneasel at level 20. Uh, jeez. So, um, we just have to, well, let's level up Poliwag here. I think Poliwag is a good person to lead with. Poliwag at level... Uh, no, maybe not. It's Route 216, 100% Sneasel at Route 20. Um... Sneasel at 20 knows Ice Shard, Fury Swipes, Feint Attack, and Icy Wind. Okay, um... Monferno walls that pretty well. But it, it is a Monferno. My load, actually Azumarill walls that perfectly fine. But she's level 21. So, uh... Is Gyarados 20? Yeah, nice. Um... These guys are good. Let's bring Monferno and let's bring Matang, I think. And then we'll we'll see if we need to come back, yeah? But I think we're almost done with what we need to do before Fantine uh, Gardenia. Yeah, the, uh, you can find the encounter docs by Googling. It's amazing what you can do by clicking on the first link that pops up in Google. Like, that might sound sassy, but, like, I'm being just sincere here that, like, almost every single question that somebody asks me about, like, emulation, about where I get docs, about anything, is pretty easily Googleable. Um, the one exception is that the trainer docs are kind of hard to find. For non-ROMs, for vanilla games, I have those in my Discord, exclamation mark Discord, you can go get them there. But yeah, um, most other stuff is pretty easily Googleable. Like, how do I download this game? Uh, did you Google it? Because <laughs> it's like the first result. Okay, uh, I got lots of repels now. We might want to bring some super repels, or uh, super potions, I think. Yeah, it'd be really cool to get, ooh, I am poor. I am pobrecito, holy crap. Um, get 28 Pokeballs. Gotta run. All right, peace, Scythe guy. We'll just be, we'll just wrap things up here a little bit and then call it a day. Um, ah. Aww. Eh. Okay. This is the thing that evolves, yeah. Hey. Light clay, interesting. Revive, not interesting. Oh my god. Okay. Lots of items around here, damn. Um, we should be able to get the Never Melt Ice up here. Alright, and so now we're here. All right, so first things first is we will just catch this Pokemon real quick. Um, Azumarill, you are definitely getting leftovers.
Oh shit! Whoops. I mean, that's a good encounter, though. Whoops. <laughs> It's Naglu, you subscribed? Sorry if I missed that, I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, I, I must have just missed it. You can shout, you can mention if I miss a sub, I, I apologize. Um, no Sneasel, but we do get Swine Up. Hopefully it has thick fat. Uh, this one has Bulldoze, Ice Shard, Powder Snow, and Mud Sport. Um, that was a mistake. <laughs> I don't think a tackle kills this, but let's just check. Uh, it can. It can. Flail probably doesn't at... Yeah. Oh shit, now it might... I swear to god, if we kill this swine up, I'm gonna lose my mind. It was a prime sub, to be perfectly honest. Hey, yeah, same to me. I think. Vanimal, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate it. Um, man, One Ball HG is really, really taking a break today. Thank you. Um, what is Swineub's nickname? And we call this milkshake. <laughs> okay. Since you asked politely. Uh, cool. Soap and water redeemed to hydrate. Um, so who do I have to fight here? Which one of these f yeller bellies do I gotta fight? Okay, so I screwed up that repel manip, but that's okay. Um, what exactly do we have to do here? Do we have to fight anybody here? Do we have to fight her? Shit. Um, what does she have? Togetic and Swellow? Am I looking at that right? Is that the right one? Or is this Quagsire or Pseudo Udo Quilava? I don't know. I'm going to Google it. What? 
Excuse me? I'm, I'm confused. So you don't have to go talk to her? Oh, wait. Wagzire trainer is across the bridge. Uh, this is useless. God damn it. Okay, so this person, yeah, is the one with the Togetic and the Staraptor. Or the Togetic and the Swellow. Okay, so, um, I just want to see what Togetic knows. Togetic at whatever level. Oh, man, I, I'm a little confused here. Togetic. At level 23, knows Ancient Power, Safeguard, Air Cutter, and Wish. Um, so I think this is fine. And then the Swellow. At 23, knows Reversal, Aerial Ace, Double Team, and Bite. Okay. Um, let's just get these guys to level 23. Or even level 24. Aqua Tail? Ooh. Dragon Rage? Uh, please. That's good for catching Pokemon, too. I think that's actually better than Hidden Power. Fake Out, we definitely want that. Um, I don't think we need Low Kick. Might want to get rid of Taunt soon. Oh wait, we can just kill the Togekiss with this guy, yeah? He's <laughs> flinched. Okay, so I don't think we actually have to fight anybody else, right? Uh, we can avoid the skier, hopefully. Snow versus snow runt, whatever. But worst case, we just kill it. Um, Mr. Mime, there's an ace trainer, Garrett, apparently, potentially has somebody. Uh, looks like that's it. Okay, cool. Hey, Gardenia. All right, cool. Okay. Nice. Um, man, I can't believe we fucked up the Weavile. I don't think that really matters. Oops. But that would have been nice to have Weavile early. Oh well. Um, Mama Swine is, is really good, so that's good. Maybe able to grab Weavile on the next route. It was right next to that house where Gardenia was. No, you, you can't. I've, it, it's cuts off right before it. That's not, that's not another route, unfortunately. 
Um... All right, we are at the gym. There's a sunstone. So cool. Now we're at now we are at um the second gym. Have we gotten all the encounters? We didn't go get um Oh, let's check out the pilot swine actually as well. I think I might have just broke my lip. Oh, and we can check out the No, no, no. We already checked out the Bagon. Calm. Terrible nature, but whatever. And thick fat is better than snow cloak, I would argue. So that's pretty good. Uh, okay. Not the worst. Not the worst. Could be better. Um, we're starting to look like a right proper team, though. Um... Such a bad nature. It's whatever. I'm just trying to think if there's an easy way to catch this Rotom. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Um, that will probably do it then for the day. We caught everything we needed. It's annoying that we have two moonstones. I, I screwed that up. Probably should have gotten a couple water stone or gotten the water stone from that thing, having having known that we get a moonstone really early. Uh we can get I mean we got a lot of answers into Gardenia. Chief among them being Crobat. We have Crobat. We have Taco. Tangela is kind of scary. We've got Tortilla. We've got Swellow. Okay. There's not Sylveon, correct. Do I have a nickname theme? It's food food see okay um well that's gonna do it for the day so i think i'll be back on thursday we'll keep going with this this was a lot of fun this was a really really good start um we'll do gardenia we'll do jupiter and see where it goes from there did you try the 12v12 after the stream is training no i did not um We'll look at it later. We'll have to think about how the best way to catch this Rotom is. I think once, we, once we're at the level cap, though, we'll have a couple levels on it, so it should be easier to manage. But that Ominous Wayne Shockwave is kind of scary. Uh, and I don't have a great way to... I guess Weepin' Bell? And even Paw... No, Weepin' Bell? Weepin' Bell might work. But anyways, we'll do that next time. All right, looks like Hayden's doing some, some shiny hunting. We can raid Hayden. Um... Somebody recommended that. So we'll hop in there. It looks like they're doing some shiny hunting on Pokemon Legends Arceus. So it'll be fun. I know uh, I'd appreciate if everybody hops in, but if not, have a great rest of your week or day or whatever. And I will see you all on Thursday. Really excited to keep going with this. This has been fun. We've got some really good encounters, some really not good encounters, but it's been fun. All right, we'll, um, we'll keep it going. Okay, let's hop into that raid, and I will see you all next time, okay? All right. Peace.